The name's Zypho, Al Zypho, and it's the Amstream! Welcome everybody! Can we all hear me okay? The music's not too loud. Welcome everybody! It is a James Bond 007 special tonight. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry not sorry for the intro there. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll have some more silliness as we go along tonight and all sorts. <laughs> oh, you're all more popping up there. How are we all doing boys and girls? I'm really, really looking forward to this tonight. I've been uh, looking forward to doing a Bond-themed one for a very, very long time. Let me put some... There we go. 
We'll put our usual grit tunes on, just the greetings. Hang on, let me put that down a bit in the volume. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too loud. Right, let me know if the volume levels are okay because I've had to mess around with a few, a few things tonight. How are we all doing, ladies and gentlemen, tonight? We're playing through all the James Bond 007 games on the Amstrad CPC. Um, and we're going to attempt to beat each of them in uh, release order tonight. So we've got A View to a Kill, The Living Daylight, Live and Let Die, License to Kill, and last but certainly least, The Spy You Love Me tonight. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna need, oh my god, I need all the look like, all the Bond gadgets and gizmos I can muster for tonight because <laughs> some some of these games, oh my god, what have I put myself into, in for, sorry. Well, how are we all doing anyway? Let's go and do the uh, greetings. Let's pop the uh, timer up there. We'll put a 15 minute timer on the greetings. Yeah, I hope we've all got our tuxedos on. <laughs> um, actually, it's just a little bit loud. I'll turn down the volume just a touch there. <laughs> Chili for lunch there. It's the Ewok you love me, sod off, AD. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, intro there. Right, I'm just going to scroll up and see who we've got in the uh, first in the chat tonight. Um, we've got 50 minutes counted down and then we'll get to our first game tonight. First in tonight was the Saboteur at 8 o'clock who sneaks in, leaves a box of milk tray and sneaks out. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Saboteur. I shall give the milk tray to Mrs. Zypho, she loves chockies. We've got Vimster next to the chat at eight, 12 minutes past 8. I think he's attempting re entry, sir. Nice cue quotes there. Oh, that reminds me. I have yet to see the new Bond movie. This is why we're doing the stream tonight, it's in honor of the new Bond film being released. As you guys know, I'm a big James Bond fan, but because of, you know, family needing babysitters and stuff like that, I haven't got to the cinema yet. So, there must be no spoilers for the new Bond film in the chat. Otherwise, I'm literally just going to time you out or ban you. <laughs> okay? That's about that. You get one warning. <laughs> anyway, right next in the chat was the Gaming Hamster. It says, hello, everyone here. And the like button's topping up my bedding. Happy gaming. Thank you, the Gaming Hamster. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, yes, I hope your water bottle's filled up as well. Welcome. Next in, we've got Retro on Limb at half past eight. Hello, and we've been working them out. See you all when I get back. Right, we'll catch you back in a bit. Retro on Limb. Mr. Pete Walker the Legend was next. Um, and yes, I have given you your spanner of doom back, Pete Walker. Enjoy, my friend. Use responsibly. <laughs> welcome, Pete. Welcome, welcome. Manuel Schultz. Good evening, Mr. Manuel Schultz. And hello to Mrs. Schultz if she's watching with you. Inside or outside of the campfire tonight, Manuel? How are you doing anyway? Uh, welcome, welcome. And we've got uh, Mr. Simon Osborne, aka the Flibble Sun next. Welcome, Simon. How are you doing, my friends? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, what was that? Well, there's a, quite a few things Simon's posted. I'll have to try and catch up a bit to them in a bit. Next up, we've got Ed, Mr. Edward Bouget. Welcome, Edward. Can't wait to see your uh, bubble ghost thing or... The, the, the bubble game that you've got being made on the GX4 fails and let me know when we can get our hands on it. Um, next in we've got Lord Respergu. Welcome Lord Respergu. How are you doing my friend? <laughs> I hope all is good with you. Next in we've got the uh, Bond Shovel. Man Shovel. How are you doing the matey? Good to see you my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you won't get called out of work again tonight. <laughs> Uh, hey, we've got a Craig Harrison arriving early tonight. Welcome, Mr. Harrison. How are you doing, my friend? And thank you for your continued support, as always. Next in, we've got a hoi, Johnny Boy. Shalom. Shalom, Johnny Boy. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Tesco, va Tesco Value Body tonight. All the nice stuff. Um, and, have, and have you got a kebab on order? <laughs> right, next in, we have... Scrolling through. Sorry if I miss anyone. We have Mrs. Zypho herself. I tried to get her on stream again tonight, guys. I asked her to be Miss Moni Bugger <laughs> or Miss Moni Penny, <laughs> but she refused to. She refused, but she's still my Bond girl, and I love her very much. I think she was fantastic last week, guys. I think we should have more Mrs. Ipho on our streams. We should do that in the future. Um, next up, we've got the lovely Brian Hooper. It's good to have you here early as well, my friend. Nice that you've got your shifts changed and work changed. Hope the new job is going well, matey. Welcome, welcome. 
we have Mr. Paul Henderson, aka Fenrir, aka Demoniac, on Twitch. Welcome, Paul. How you doing, my friend? Thank you. I got you. I got your DM. I had to reply quickly because I was rushing to get everything set up in time for tonight. Uh, but yes, I'll, I'll look into that, my friends. Next up, we got Warzord the Board, Time Lord, arriving in his TARDIS. Hello, my friend, as well. Welcome, welcome. Um, next in, we got 80s Retro Gamer. Good evening to you, too, sir. Welcome, my friend. Um, next in, we have Mr. Craig Wilson, who tried to guess that I, was, I, I would flop into the stream tonight. No, completely wrong tonight. Zero. Zero nil points for you tonight, Craig. But welcome, my friends. And great uh, racetracks and marbles last night, as always, my friends. Next up, we've got FC Den Haag. Yes, thank God it's Friday. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can't, yes, I'm so happy it's the weekend. I'm glad this week's over. Welcome, FC. <clears throat> I hope all is well with you. Let me just have a swig of my drink, guys. Uh, next in, let's have a look. Scroll down. I have to miss a lot of chat here. But I'm just looking for the people I haven't said hello to. Uh, next in is Mr. Zen Zero 2001. Good evening, dude. <laughs> How are you doing, my friends? Welcome, welcome. And again, if I've missed any important and funny messages, please uh, feel free to repeat them in the chat. Um, right, good, 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 good. Um, next in, we've got the Nova Bug. Welcome, Chris. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> nice to see you here early in the stream as well. Um, what have you got planned for tomorrow night? What time's your um, stream tomorrow, dude? And uh, tell us a little bit more about what you've got coming up tomorrow night, if you want to. Let me just try to clean my glasses there. But I think I just made them worse. Damn it. All right, I'll carry on for a bit. Um, next in, we have Mr. Zombie Bee. Uh, welcome, Zombie Pix, an OG of the Amstream. Always lovely to see you here, my friend. How are you, Ben? Damn it, I'm getting hot. I'm putting my fan on. Um, oh, uh, Craig, the, the rasters on the loading screen on the uh, intro, I think it was the cracked tape version of Dragon Ninja. I think it, I think it was that. I think it was that. Um, <laughs> that so there you go. Uh, let's see, Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz. How you doing, Robin? Good to see you, my friend. And I uh, hope you've had a good week. And thank you for your continued support. And uh, next in, we've got Nish from CPC Game Reviews. How you doing, Nish? Good to see you, my friend. Be interested to see what you rated these games tonight on your excellent website. Um, no bug, I agree with you. I love Timothy Dalton. He's my favourite. More on him in a little bit, I think. <laughs> uh, next thing we've got Retro or Busts. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you too, dude. How have you been? Um, we've got Neutrino Fire here early in the stream. That's awesome. How you doing, Neutrino? Once I'm not drunk on a Friday. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing, Neutrino Fire? Wait, let me just clean my glasses again. Bugger. Getting all steamed up. What's going on? Um, let's see. Ah, we got Mr. Maud in the chat as well. Welcome, Maud. How you doing, my friends? Good to see you. We have next a um, Chiefy89. Welcome, Chiefy. Good to see you, my friends. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm now at the bit where everyone saw the intro and the greetings. I could have done Yellow Belly as a Bond girl. I just ran out of time of adding bits and bobs. <laughs> so, next time we do something like this, we can add bits in like that. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for the lovely comments there. I love uh, I, I love it when people enjoy stuff like that. And uh, it's just sort of a bit of a laugh. Bit of a daft laugh. AD <laughs> uh, uh, Sneaky Freak, good to see you again. AD, how are you doing, my friend? <laughs> nice to see you. From Endor with love. Oh, God damn it. Shut up, AD. <laughs> uh, that made me laugh, though, actually. Nightwolf Games. How you doing, Nightwolf Games? Welcome, my friend. And I hope, you, uh, I hope you're having a good time this week. Next in, let's have a look. Mr. Kev Howe. Good evening, Kev. How's tricks, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, next in, oh, there is Yellow Belly himself. Greetings, Sir Yellow Belly. Welcome, sir. How are you? Nice to see you again as tonight. Oh, my chat's just re scrolled itself. Bloody hell. Uh, right. right, I know where I am now. 
Alright, uh, next in we've got Arnold A. Lampel. Welcome, Arnold. How's your how's your retro collecting going on, sir? Welcome, welcome. Um, next in, uh, the Iwaku Love Beast has created Sod off, AD. <laughs> um, watching ATV. I don't recognise the name, but I recognise the avatar. Is that you, Vocal? Excuse me. Have you changed your username yet again? <laughs> Welcome, Boca. I assume it's you there. Um, uh, next day, we've got Dinuk. Welcome, Dinuk. Nice to see you again, my friend. How tricks of you? And oh, yes, that reminds me because uh, we've got some ad squad members there. I will get back to you on t shirts this weekend, guys. So, t shirts are in the works. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Um, Amma Smythe. Good evening, Mr. Amma Smythe, as well. Hello, my friend. Amma Smythe. I, I always called you Amma Smythe. It's Amma Scythe, isn't it? I remembered last week I caught <laughs> Mrs. Zypho brought, brought me up on it. And I was getting your name wrong all this time. It's Amma Scythe. I don't know why I saw an extra room there. I don't know why. My old eyes and old brain. Uh, thank you there for the spoiler dish. <laughs> um, right, next up, Jimmy Taylor. Welcome, Jimmy. How are you doing, Jimmy? And hello to Janie as well. She's there watching with you. What's the, what's the drinks of choice this evening, dude? And looking forward to meeting you at Play Blackpool in a couple of weeks. Uh, not on the Tesco Value stuff tonight, Johnny Boy. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. None of your beers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It says, what's, who's your favourite Bond? It's a, it's a close one between Timothy Dalton and Roger Moore. If Timothy Dalton had done more movies, he'd definitely be number one for me. And added in a bit more humour. I love Roger Moore, so it's a difficult one. But I'll go with Dalton. I'll go with Dalton. Um, Aqua Z, welcome to the stream again. How are you? Nice to see you back here again. Welcome, Aqua. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's, see. let's just scroll through. Uh, oh, yes. Novak says, yes, episode 141 live tomorrow at 10 p.m. Uh, for the bug stream. A bit of sauciness will be seen if loading goes well. Ooh, okay. Watch out for the bug stream tomorrow night at 10. Uh, just so you know, I'm letting you know as well, Nova Bug. I might be streaming myself on Saturday early evening. But I'll be lucky to finish when you start. So, don't you worry, don't you worry. Because um, Mrs. Zypho is out at the uh, theatre, so I've got nothing else to do. So I might just go live on Twitch for a little bit tomorrow. Saturday, early Saturday evening. Only wants to stream, pre-stream bug before the bug stream. Um, okay, it's a good thing, Neutrino Fire. Okay, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Uh, found out a special version of Tempest of the same Wave 14 but the CC version. Still can't get off it. So, obviously, the Amstrad was a specky port, then never mind. I shall investigate myself at some point when I look to do a long play. Um, welcome, Rainer. How you doing, Rainer? No worries. If you want to be a uh, lurk and be quiet, that's cool. You dirty lurk away. All you want, Rainer. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm nearly there with the greetings, and we've got two minutes left. Awesome. Um... Hey, Andy H. Hello, my friend. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, Andy. How's tricks? Um, Lazen B for a mansion. We're not sure if trolling or not. <clears throat> uh, Johnny Boy says Roger Moore has the best eyebrow movement. He does. He does. Hang on, let me just do this. <laughs> He does indeed. <laughs> Welcome, uh, this is Darren T. Connor. How are you doing, matey? Uh, even so, I've just picked up my boy from EGX Gaming Convention in London. Lucky get. Did he have a good time there, Darren? I wanted to go, but there was no chance I was going to get to that. Uh, I agree, Overbug. Dalton's closest to the Fleming description for why bread. Yes, yes. Um... Uh, just let me know, get your honourable presence on my stream now. Uh, you might do for a bit, because M Mrs. Zypho is getting back from the theatre around right about the time I have to stop and you start. So, you might get a little bit of me, depending if she lets me or not. Hello, Nivrig! Hello, Nivrig! How are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> just lose my voice there. Welcome, Mr. Nivrig. How are you doing? And I think I am caught up with, any with all the uh, greetings. So, if there's anyone I missed saying hello to, please say hello again in the chat and I'll go hello. And if there's any important and funny, witty messages that I missed, uh, please feel free to uh, re uh, copy and paste again or retype them. Oh, right, you're not Charlie Man Shovel. On a Magic Secret Service for the win. Uh, greatly underrated movie, that. And 
with Lazen B in on a Her Majesty's Secret Service, he surprised me. Oh. <laughs> Nova Bog. Let's give him a dancing Lord Shockers. With the three pound thirteen, three one three. Okay. Uh, that is. Uh, hang on. The name is Bug. Nova Bug. Licensed to hack. <laughs> okay. Let's give Nova Bug some bananas in the chat there. Thank you, Nova Bug. Thank you very, very, very much for the first donor of the night there. Cheers, my dude. Cheers. And I have some hot dogs as well. Let's turn off the bananas there. <laughs> I assume that was Nova Bug and not GP posing as Nova Bug. But, uh, yeah, where was I? Um, Lazenby. Yeah, he surprised me. Yeah, like there's, there's some scenes where he's actually, one, quite really funny. And two, uh, really charming. Like in that, um, they, they in a barn or a shed. They're hiding out somewhere. He's, he, 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 he could do tender and drama quite well. But then the, the rest of his acting chops, the rest of the movie isn't quite there. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. But yeah, I liked him. I liked him. If a bit of um, developing, he could have been really, really good. But um, unfortunately, he was a bit of a knob, wasn't he? Um, in a nice way. He's just a pain in the, pain in the ass, wasn't he? Uh, but yeah, I like Laser B. Um, he shouldn't be too harshly criticised. Mr. Dave Rule 83, welcome Dave. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It was you, Nova Bug. Thank you, Nova Bug. Sometimes you never know if, that, if it's that naughty, naughty GP or not. And uh, FC Den Hog, I'm sure I said hello to you, but hello again, FC Den Hog. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Yes, because you said, thank God it's Friday or something. So, yes, thank God it's Friday. Chin, chin. Right. Uh, one second, guys. I just need to adjust the fan behind me. Sorry about that. Right. Okay. Pierce Brosnan equals worst Bond ever. Oh. Do you know what? I like him. I like Pierce Brosnan. But... Probably my least one, least favourite maybe. Um, some of the movies after Gold and I were a bit poop. Um, but I, we were talking about it on Twitch last week, uh, early this week. Sorry, why is it with Frozen? I can't. He's almost like too perfect for Bond, but he just hasn't got that edge. Bond has always had an edge. Timothy Dalton has it. Um, Daniel Craig has it. Just that X factor. He doesn't. I don't know. He's just too suave. Uh, he's more like Roger Moore, but I, there's, there's more charisma with Roger Moore. So, yeah. I quite like Die Another Day, apart from a few things. Like, Bond being captured at the start and being imprisoned for, like, a year or something like that. No, Bond would have escaped by then. Um, I quite enjoyed it, Die Another Day. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Yeah, right, okay, so... Hmm, what should we start? How should we start tonight? Let me think. Hmm. Right. Well, with a view to... We're going to do... We're going to start, of course, with a view to a kill tonight. Where do we start with this bloody game? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do an intro. Let's get... Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will... Um, let's turn off the... Um, well, now there. Uh, we'll do a short intro for each of, the, each of the games. For those of you that missed the big intro earlier, you're going you're gonna to get an extra one. <laughs> okay. And we're going to load up um, a view to a kill. Right. Let me, um, let me pause this. And we're going to do a view to a kill. Our first Bond game is coming up right after this.
Oxart, their view to a kill from Dumb Art Software. I have, I have got the original box here. It's actually really nice. It's a black uh, plastic. You remember this black black plastic used to get in like uh, the old uh, NAF video stores? It's that kind of weird, shiny, bendy plastic. And Dumb Art used to like put. It Dumb Up used to like putting them in these kind of cases there, I've got the disc version. Um, quite a nice box this then. And it looks nice on the old shelf there. Um, so yeah, Dumb Ark had the license, got the license for the uh, all the James Bond games really early on. So this is 1980, 1985. Um, and uh, they, they if you wonder how a small company like Dumb Ark had done much else before this game, managed to get the license. It's because one of the brothers that ran Domark um, had, I don't know if it's like a cousin or an uncle, that was like really good friends with um, Ian Fleming. And through that contact, they managed to get in with the Bond crowd, uh, the Broccolis and stuff, and get the license uh, for the home computer versions, uh, at least in the uh, UK and Europe. And all the rest of the Bond games all followed, of course. From Dumark and Dumark are a bit of a sketchy company at the best of times. Right, we're going to just load up a view to a kill here. Right, uh, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about with a view to a kill. Hmm. Yes, you could do run ABTAK as well as game dot bass. Ah, there you go. Nice little intro here. It's a shame it's not an animated uh, gun barrel sequence like you got on the Specky. That bothered me. That really bothered me <laughs> when I found out about that. Oh, thank you, Brian. Thank you. Game started 007. Thank you, Akwazi. Oh, did I miss? I think I missed someone in the chat there. Hang on. Who, who popped in there? Is it Alex? Hi Alex! How you doing Mr. Alex? Look! Yes, we'll be playing them in order tonight, the games. Talking of things in order. Um, A View to a Kill. Its levels are all out of order. So, um, like for example, if you can see here, it wants us to play the Mines level first. Then the City Hall game and then the Paris game. That is literally in reverse order of the events in the movie. It's like the final set pieces in the mines before the Golden Gate Bridge battle or whatever. Um, the Mines game is by far the best uh, of the three games of the three games on this on this uh, pack. And um, unfortunately, there is a horrendous amount of bugs. Right. Um, we will talk about. Um, some, actually, I'll talk about one of them later on. I will show you. I'm going to be working from a map on this uh, game. On this game. Um, I'll bring it up in a minute. Actually, I'll bring that up in a minute. Right. I think what I'll do is, guys. Let me just. We'll get this loading up. And we're going to have to start with the mine sequence. So what happens? If there's a, several problems with this game. First of all, the disc version is probably the worst one to play. Sadly. Uh, because one, um, I think the disc version was rushed, rushed out because some of the text in the disc version comes out in French in game. And also, worst of all, if you complete the mines level, um, you don't get any congratulations you have completed the mines level. It just goes to the game over high score table screen, which is like really. So when I um, get through this, I'm actually going to uh, load a snapshot at the start of the tape version. The other big problem is on this level is you are supposed to be given a code at the end of the level uh, to put in at the start of the next game. Otherwise, you're only playing the next uh, that that next level in what's called practice mode, uh, where you don't get uh, any score and you don't get the code for the final part of the game, the Paris level. Um, so this is a bug and um, that's not been fixed. But thanks to help from Johnny Olson from the CPC Wiki forums. This is actually a few years ago. We actually managed to work out what the code was. Um, we've actually found it hidden in the actual game code. That's the only way we know. Um, there's also a little problem as well with another code in this level. It's called the Bomb Diffuse Code. And we'll talk about that when we get to it. Hey, Rachel. Good evening, Rachel. You're early. You missed the big intro, though. Rewind if you want to watch that um, for my big entrance. <laughs> 
the Ams Bonds. Welcome, Rachel. How you doing? Um. Right. Okay. So we are going. So there's the demo there. So we are going to load up the start of the mines level, but from the tape version. Let me just pause it there. We're going to put some. Let's put some music. Let's put some Bond music on. Now in this level here, the game is completely silent. There's not even a single sound effect, let alone music. And I don't know why they just didn't have the music playing during the level that we heard on the title screen there. This is game is a bug-ridden mess. So, I managed to, managed to extract some Bond music. Right, hopefully that's... Is that uh, not too loud, not too quiet for everyone? So, we'll have some Bond music. I managed to extract a few tunes from a few Amstrad Bond games, which we'll just play in the background here. Um, also, I'm going to be working from a map here. So, if I just pop over to this... Take that off and bring it up here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Miss Money Penny. <laughs> Who's that then? With the uh, 464. Thank you. Great theme for the stream. Keep up the good work. <laughs> but can we have bananas in the chat for Miss Money Penny with a magical 464 there? Let's see the bananas in the chat there. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Moneypenny. Oh, God, I'm going to have to see who that is now. I reckon that's maybe Pete Walker, I'm guessing. Or could it be a GP? I don't know. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the, for the bananas there. Uh, so where's the boss, uh, best Bond game of all time? Suspect it's GoldenEye uh, on the N64. Asks Pete Walker. I might go with GoldenEye. I might go with GoldenEye. Oh, that was from, um, I'm not sure uh, I should give the full name out. Um, they may be lurking in the chat. So, um, thank you, um, Mr. W. I, I thought, in case you don't want your name revealed, for the 464 there. So, uh. <laughs> yes, they made a gun for the CPC 464. Oh, who was asking about the gun? Um, Matt Corbin. Good evening, Matt, as well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Bugger Bond the Flea. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a bit like that, New Frig. Good call, good call. Uh, how you doing, Matt? Good to see you. Um, yes, Alex, they did. I, I, yeah, I'm posing with it on the thumbnail. It's this, it's the Magnum Light Phaser, actually. There you go. The Amstrad logo's flipped on it. And it's a bit... It's a bit poop. It's not... Ex the trigger is awful on this. It's got a horrible squeak. Hear yeah, that in the microphone, yeah. Um, and I don't think it's entirely that accurate either. But I had many fond memories of playing Bullseye with the light gun, believe it or not. Um, welcome again, Rachel. Thanks everyone giving Rachel a nice warm welcome there. Nice to have her at the start of the stream. Darren Cole, did a missing chat about the new film? I thought it was going to seem to disagree, disagree with me. No spoilers about the new Bond film tonight. I uh, or to give another warning, one more warning. Any spoilers, and I will tie you out. Anyone, so uh, <laughs> you can say it's good or bad, but that, that's that's that that will do. Uh, so okay, so yeah, we're looking at the map very very quickly. Looking at the map, and then we'll crack on. So we've got a big ass map to do. What we're gonna do is, if I just, oh god. <laughs> Hugh has just donated. Ten pound seven p, but you get 007 in that. Oh, Hugh, whoever you are, just don't break it, Zybond. <laughs> just don't break it, Zybond. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Uh, whoever Q was there, bananas in the chat for the Q branch. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me just find out who that was. Okay. Uh... I might be able to see. Sometimes I get the email pop through. Don't always. Um, I haven't seen it yet, uh, Darren. So that's why. That was Mr. Craig's Bar. Thank you, Craig's Bar. <laughs> Everyone give Craig's Bar some love in the chat there. Thank you, dude. Right. Right. This is the level we're going to be playing. Um, if anybody wants me to put this map in the Discord so you can follow along if you really, really want to, you can do. 
essentially what we're going to do is we go to the top right corner here uh, this is the bomb we need to defuse and this is like a winch tower and we need to collect all the parts for this winch tower um, so there's the handle for the winch ta winch there we have the winch drum down here um, we, we need to collect planks there's two planks there's one I think there's one all the way over to the right here. There's plank number two. To get uh, to make a gap across here, you put the planks there so you can get across and carry the detonator with you. And there's various other items you need to collect. Down here is a hook you need. Um, there's a safety hat that stops you losing score from rocks hitting your head. The lighter. Um, you've got dynamite to collect up here. In fact, there's two sticks of dynamite and two places you can use them down here. Here is Mayday. The first task you have to do is rescue Mayday. You have to blow up the rocks with dynamite and a lighter. What a bloody awful mess. You're not liking the look of this, Mrs. Zypho? Oh, dear. Um, good man, Darren. Good man. No spoilers. Thank you, man. <laughs> Uh, so there you go, there's the map. If anybody wants the map, I will post it in the Discord for anyone. Okay, let's start the game. And um, thank you again, uh, Craig's Bar, Mr. W and Novabug for those early donors. It's very kind of you. And let's get on with it. We're going to beat set five games to beat tonight. So let's do this. There you go, there's Bond, he's jumping around here. Sadly, there is no um, um, musical sound effects, hence we're using some music I, I uh, managed to uh, scrape from uh, other Bond games on the Amstrad. So we're collecting things. First thing we collected there was a grapple gun. I'll show you in action in just a second. But you have this thing where you press the fire button and everything freezes and then you like, move through the options there so we can have a search or use the grapple gun that we picked up to so a search we found some rope which we need to lower down uh, on that winch to pick up the bomb uh, and we will select to pick it up and we now have the rope there you go and here we're about to use the grapple gun oops there you go and bond climbs up and down like that I don't know why Bond's got an orange top on. Did he have an orange top in a view to a kill? I don't know. That's that's a big ass map. It is a big map. But actually, I will say, Bond does zip around the map rather quickly. Oh, uh, this is the lift, by the way, guys. And I realise I've missed an item already, which is back here. So there's the lift that goes up and down the plane area. And you can actually um, glitch that lift and uh, use it to get past scenery you're not supposed to. Maybe I will show you that in action later. Uh, oh yeah, there's an item down here to pick up. So to my left, I've got the map in my second monitor. I've right, got that, there we go. And I should be able to complete this in about five minutes, so it won't take too long. Uh, as long as I don't get too like distracted or whatever. Uh... What am I doing? Yeah, this is the right, right way. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Shovel. Did I get the winch handle? I did. That's cool. Uh, where am I going? Right. First secret of the game is coming up. Not many people have found this, but I did. And uh, I think a few others have since. There's a secret room with one of the codes that you, that's shown uh, in the demo sequence uh, well, uh, on the title screen. And it's like, how, it's, it's, the room is called Secret Secrets. So if you use a grapple gun here, you can actually go through the wall. There you go. And here is the secret room with the missing number. So, we are collecting numbers as we go along. These numbers you use as a, a to as numbers a seek and you put them in the right sequence and it will defuse the bomb. And that's number three there. And I will talk more about the numbers in a bit. Let's just collect them all and I'll come to the problem with the bomb diffusing codes in a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna go through there. Come out here, there we go. 
I'll just pause that there a second. Um, you had a green jacket in the scene. Yeah, it was like a grey, greeny jacket, I think. You're right, Neverbug, I think. Um, wow, nice animations of speed. Yeah, the sprite's all right. Uh, I actually, uh, I actually, this level, I actually played this for hours and hours and hours of a kid. I really liked exploring and finding all these new strange places and items. And I never did anything with it. I think I worked out once. Eventually, had, uh, there was a dynamite, lighter, some rocks, and I think I blew up the rocks and they disappeared. And I was like, oh my god! I discovered like an amazing new secret. And that's about as far as I got. But I spent hours playing this mines level. But I don't think this game is as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Uh, Brian says, uh, Zyper, you must have hit the fire button too hard because the stream froze on Virgin Television. I've had to switch the fire stick. Really? Oh. Sorry to hear that, dude. Uh, maybe reboot the fire stick? Good lord. I don't know. Some effort's been made to make it some kind of game. Yeah, they have. there has been a lot of programming effort in. And I have talked to two of the coders that worked on this game. And I'll be talking more about them. We're going to do a proper long play video of this for the channel anyway. And I'll be making a proper video about that soon. But um, I did actually try to get one of the coders on the stream tonight. But he was a bit quite reluctant, unfortunately. So... But he's happy to answer questions generally. Um, so, yep, Kev, this is the last Roger Moore film. Um, I think he kind of went out in a bit of a whimper, really. I don't know. I like a lot of A View to a Kill, the movie. Uh, actually, yeah, we need to go here. Us. Actually, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There's another here. Um, the thing is, I love I loved Roger Moore. I loved him, and I still do. Uh, but he was he was just way too old by then. Damn it! It's okay. Sorry, let's get the, let's need to get the grapple gun. This is a pain in the ass having to go through the menu to get the gra bloody grapple gun out. It should be like put on like a, uh, I don't know, hold down the fire button, hold it down or something, and it will spring up or something. Never mind. That that is a little bit annoying that you have to do that all the time. Um, okay, just make sure I've not missed any items. But yeah, he was just too old by the time of a view to a kill, and like Stacy Sutton, nice looking lady who ever played her. Uh, I forget her name, Tanya Roberts. That was it. She was a nice looking lady, but like she was not a great actor. And she was just like ridiculously young compared to Roger Moore. It's just, oh, it's just, yeah. But Mayday, Grace Jones was great in it. Uh, I love Christopher Walken's uh, villain in it as well. Um, the, the, all the, there was a lot of ingredients there for a fantastic Bond movie, but. Um... Oh, by the way, falling. <coughs> you can fall uh, any um, height at all and you won't die, but you will get stunned. And you lose a lot of time there. Picked up some dynamite. We now need to go and find a hook. Um, fire stick is fine. It's Virgin Media that needs hoofing. Oh, no. I didn't want to fall down here. Actually, no. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. There it is. That's what we're after. I panicked there for a little bit. I need to go all the way left. About falling off here. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, you can't make that jump. Oh. Oh, Andy H. For the 464 through the super chat. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for the magical 464. There, I'll give you some fire. It's about. Can we have bananas in the chat for Andy H? Who says, uh, I always liked an exploration game too. Yeah, um, we've already covered like nearly uh, a good two thirds of the map already in what we've done. So the map I showed earlier looks quite massive, but really isn't because you can zip around it quite quickly. And uh, you can't actually, there's nothing in here that will actually kill you as well. 
Um, the, the only time you'll die is if the timer runs out or if you drop the bomb you carry in or if you put the wrong defuse code in. Otherwise, you can explore a way to your heart's content. And I like that too, Andy. Thank you very, very much, Andy. I really appreciate that, dude. Enjoy the hot dogs and bananas and stuff. Mr. Neil Lovely. Hello, Neil. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you here. Uh, Vocal, you've changed your name back. Or have you come in, logged into a different account? Uh, according to my cousin, the stuntman, every time Roger Moore buggered up on a view to a kill, something on set would say, Paul for sure, Connery. <laughs> but it, it was all done out of love. It's a little uh, in-joke, I'm sure. Because absolutely, uh, from what I've heard, from people who have worked in the Bond films, absolutely everyone adored Roger Moore. He was a lovely, lovely man with a great sense of humour and very self-deprecating as well. Did she know? Oh, did Tanya Roberts pass away? Uh, P. No way, that's really sad. What, fr what from? Blimey. Oh, it's Dreamy here. Hello, Dreamy Artist. Uh, actually, there's some people I missed there. Let me just catch up with the chat there. Uh, hello. Hi, Dreamy. How you doing? Welcome. We've got Crazy Borg here in the chat as well. Now, you're a big Bond fan, aren't you? Crazy Bond. Uh, should have stopped at Octopus. Yeah, I agree. Did you imagine Timothy Dalton doing a view to a kill with a much grittier style to it? Ooh. We'd have, we would have, then have Dalton doing a view to a kill, Living Daylights and License to Kill. That would be a great trilogy of movies. Um, yeah, AD, he was about 56 or 57 or something when he did a view to a kill. It was nuts. Mr. David Jenner, good to see you, David. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, sir? Um... Uh, you need to find a secret room to defuse a bomb. So if you don't find the secret room, you're afraid of the words. Yes! But it gives a subtle clue. But it gives a big clue on the uh, demo sequence. You can see it. It gives you a demo of all the rooms. Um, to be honest, I never found it as a kid. But looking at when someone showed me it one day, uh, it was like, oh, God, that's actually pretty obvious. <laughs> It's like that there's a strange thing on the side of a wall that you don't see anywhere else in the game. And it's like, yeah, maybe I should have had a look at that earlier. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. I'll just pop down here again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did we pick up the safety hat? I think we did. So if you use the... Oh, no, we didn't. That's okay. Uh, let me just scroll down there. Thank you again, uh, Andy. That's really kind of you again, dude. Thank you. Hey, Neil. Welcome, Neil. How you doing again? Um, all all pay all members of the Am Squad patrons get um that as a perk. Uh, yes. So you get uh, as a patron or member of the Am Squad, you get the Spanner of Doom. Um, oh, actually, I need to. Put my grapple gun here. Okay, grapple gun. Uh, let's go up a little bit further. There it is. This item is pretty much useless. Hang on. This is the safety hat. We'll pick it up. Uh, and then safety hat and then use. It now means if a rock falls on our head, our score does not go down. Is that a good thing or not? don't know <laughs> who cares really um there's another item just hidden up here oh yeah i love the music from a view to a kill the duran duran song is bloody great as well oh hang on what was i doing there search number two oh that's what we wanted um hey simmy good to see you simmy welcome dude how are you <laughs> welcome matey, welcome, welcome OSG's in the chat OMG, how you doing mate? No, this is where you die Mr Bond <laughs> Welcome OSG Oh you missed my big intro dude But you've seen a preview of half of it anyway Is it sepsis? What the hell sepsis? I'm literally just googling that quickly 
life threatening life threatening reaction to an infection it happens when your immune system over overreacts to infect in, uh, overreacts to an infection and starts to damage your bones and body's own oh god poor tanya that's that's a real real shame from all accounts though i know we've um said possibly mean things about her acting abilities uh for all accounts what from people said she was a really nice person so um blimey rest in peace tanya right blood in blood infection yikes oh this is the, this is where you could call the lift and if you stand in the right place you can glitch the lift through the floor actually if i just take a snapshot here uh, let me just take a snapshot. I'll show you a fun little bug in action. Let me just save this in the right folder. Uh, uh, oh, I should have set this up before the stream. Never mind. Snapshots. Uh, we need to kill. Let's go on mines. That will do. Right here. We just jump off and stand about here. Oh, I can't. Oh, sugar! Hang on. Bing. Hang on. Let, let me return to the game. Hang on. Let me just pop it. I think it's here you can do it. Yeah. Ha ha. The lift has gone through the floor. <laughs> and Bond is descending into the depths of hell or something. <laughs> C6D4E2 F0 There you go. Oh, we've come back through the top. There you go. Now, I might have ended up introducing a horrendous bug into the game by doing that, so we will we will reload before that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Sophia! Hey! How you doing, Sophia? Good to see you. Welcome to the Am stream, Sophia. <laughs> nice to see you. We're having a bit of a bond discussion tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Sophia. Have a bit of more there for you. Uh, who was Tanya? Tanya Roberts starred uh, in as... Um... Oh, what's her name? In the in, well, she was she was the main Bond girl in *A View to a Kill*. I've just forgotten her name in the in the film. God damn it, Stacy, Stacy Sutton. That's it. Yeah. Oh no, I was G. You got problems with your car. <clears throat> your car is screwed. Oh no, dude. I was G. What the radius was, but it's the head gasket. Yikes! Yikes! I had a head gasket going on an old Toyota of mine years ago, and I thought it was a game. I thought it was game over. They got it fixed in three days, and he says you're lucky it didn't cause any further damage. But head gaskets are sortable depending on the engine, make, model, and how much its damage has been caused. I hope you get it. I hope you get it fixed, dude. I hope you give it fixed. Otherwise, it looks like Lucas is driving you then. Um. Much more of you to kill is a completely different person compared to Octopussy, where his age wasn't an issue. Much more obvious stuntman use in view to a kill. I know it was really obvious. Um, yeah. You're right. Also, I think it, I, it didn't seem like his heart was quite as in it or was committed in a view to a kill. I don't know, there was something about it. Right, we're going to drop down on this thing that's going to push us to the right. Oops. And if we get use the. Winch handle. Oh no, no, hang on. Oh, but oh, oh, I've got to pick something up, so I've got to reload here. Oops, 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 oops. Good job I took a save point there. Although it only saved me, it's only saved me time. We needed this the conveyor handle. And we're gonna, we picked up the conveyor handle. And if we drop down here, instead of going push to the right, we get to use the conveyor handle. God, this menu system is bloody awful. Use. Now go to the left, and we can now get to this area. And then we can use the grapple gun to get up here. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I keep burping. How you doing, Sophia, anyway? I hope all is good with you. My first car, I got the cam belt slit. Dead engine. Oh, cam belt is the worst. Uh... 
Another guy with Hick Asset. So far, the last two cards have had major issues. Kev, okay, you've not had much luck of cards there. Don't be crazy, Borg has either. Sorry to crazy, Borg. I didn't want to remind you. Right. Oh, yeah. Here's the lighter. Not the Felix lighter, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Tazong. Brilliant. How you doing, Tazong? Uh, yeah, Patrick McGee, uh, McGee was great in View to a Kill. I liked him in it too. And yeah, Bond makes a bloody quiche in a View to a Kill. I mean, it's just like, what? What is going on there, Bond, in that film? I still like uh, View to a Kill, but it's got those moments that just like, why? Oh yeah, we need to use conveyor handle here. And put that going back the other way. Right, I'm just going to check my map here to make sure I've not missed anything. I think we are good. Yeah. Right, and we are now about to go and rescue Mayday and blow some rocks up. Hey, Mr. Tech Nick. Good evening, sir. So, Nick of Tech, how are you doing, matey? How's tricks? Oh yeah, before we do this section, there's a there's an item we need to pick up. So we're gonna do this first before blowing up those rocks you see there to the left. Uh yeah. There you go. This one's a little hard to find than the others. Especially if you don't have a map. That was the winch drum for the winch machine. Um, you find them hard to enjoy these days, Simmy? Oh, um, I mean, some of the things haven't aged very well, but I, I, I could still watch any of the Roger Moore onwards films quite happily. Um, some of the Sean Connery stuff, I don't know. I just, uh, that one, that maybe the Sean Connery stuff, I'm a little bit. Uh, even Goldfinger, probably the best of his, is still, a, I don't know. There's things in that that's like, yeah, not aged well. Um, Mr. Darren C, welcome to the stream as well there. Welcome, welcome. Favourite movie, Don't You Dare Blaspheme It, Giggle. <laughs> it's just a view to a kill. I still enjoy view to a kill a lot. Ow. Something out. Oh, did I spot a smooth MJ moonwalking into the stream? How you doing, smoothie? <laughs> How you doing, Smooth? House tricks? Have you missed Ursula Andress? Unfortunately, you have. I'm sorry, Technic. Never mind. Um, with a dead engine group, says Crazy Pork. Um, is it at the garage yet, OSG? Have they had a look at it yet properly? When do you find out? Tomorrow or Monday? Um... Bond movies equals bank holidays and Christmas when I was a kid. Same here. Yeah, lots of fond memories of watching um, Bond movies at my grandma's house and stuff. With my uncle. He, my uncle tried to model himself on Roger Moore with his hair. He had the sort of the tried to do the Roger Moore hair style, and um, he tried to be tried to be witty all the time, but generally failed. Anyway, uh, that's my uncle Daryl there. Um, right, so we dropped the dynamite. We'll get the lighter, use the lighter. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? This is the best moment of, the, of this level. Boom. <laughs> then the rocks have gone. Rocks are gone. And look who's waiting for us here. It's Mayday. That looks nothing at all like Mayday. It looks like one of those um, guards in London. You know, the ones with the furry hats. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. That does not look like Mayday in any way, shape or form. She's going, help me, help me. Um, in the disc version of the game, as I mentioned earlier, it actually says, le aidez moi, le aidez moi, or whatever it is in French for help me. Um, because they um, mucked up the disc version of the game and left French text in there. So now, if you just go into Mayday and touch her, zoom, she zips off and she goes, thank you, James, see you at the top. She is now waiting at the top right corner of the map where the winch and the bomb is, and she will winch you down to the bomb. So that's the first major task of the game done. We have got most of the items. We've got a little bit more exploring to do. Oh my god, the timer's actually getting quite low. Sugar. I'm going to have to be quite quick here. And not do stupid things like that. 
grapple gun all the way up here, I think, yeah. And up, up we go. Hey, Mr. Beardo. Good evening, Beardo. How are you doing, matey? Uh, and we use get lift. I uh, can't wait to meet you and Gil Afraid in the flesh at um, Play Blackpool, dude. I saw your DM before going live tonight. Thank you, Beardo. So, yeah, looking, really looking forward to meeting you and everyone else. Really freaking nervous about it and anxious, but, like, can't wait. It's a go away and stay away mayday. Yeah, she's not mocking about. She's going to help me in the rest of the mines. Lazy cow. Right, anyway, um, dynamite two. Drop. And we need to use the lighter here. And there we go, the rock's blown out of the way. Now we can get to this area here where there's another plank to pick up. And there will be a number hidden all the way at the top of this section as well. And that should be the last number. And you can actually have multiple grapple guns fired on one screen as well. As you can see there. Fire up a load of them if you really, really wanted to, if you were bored. Uh, I forgot there, the time limit is actually quite tight. Even with me going basically what is the fastest route through the game, uh, we're still under five minutes left. And that's, it's going to be close now, actually. Um... Yeah, I need to go up here next. Just looking at the map. Uh, funny enough, Jones, uh, she was part of the stadium where they... Uh, what was that, sorry? Where they went to set a world record of someone named as um, Jones. What's that, Pete? Sorry, I think I might have missed a bit of that. No one beats Pussy Galore. Favourite Bond Girl names? <laughs> Um, plenty of tool <laughs> from <laughs> Diamonds Are Forever. Oh my god. Right, hang on. Uh, plank one, plank two, winch handle. Just making sure I've got all the bits here. Winch drum, rope, the hook, conveyor handle, something like that. Yeah. I think that's it. So we've got the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. We have, we are, we have all, all the stuff we need now. That's fantastic. So it's actually quicker to drop all the way to the bottom and then use a grapple gun to go all the way back up on the other side. So that's what we're doing here. Brophy McGash is my favorite. <laughs> what Bond films have you been watching? I think you've been watching the porn versions, Simmy. Dirty little boy. <coughs> Octopussy. I mean, they, they named the bloody movie that as well. There we go. Right, we are nearly there, boys and girls. Oh! Oh! Mr. Neil Oh, bless you, dude. Becoming a patron, rejoining the AM squad there. Thank you, um, thank you, um, um, Mr. Lovely Neil there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can have all the dancing sugars for that. Let's, um, give him an Ams dog as a thank you. Exclamation mark hot dog in the chat there. Or bananas is absolutely fine. Thank you, Neil. Since I see your name in the chat there, I can, uh, prov provision you the spanner of doom next to your name. <laughs> thank you, Neil. Thank you. Uh, we'll see what's Merry Good Night. That's good. Xena on a top. That that's a good one. That's a good one. Christmas Jones. That's probably the worst one because it just sets up a joke for like the, at the end of the movie where um, Bond goes, Christmas does come more than once a year or something. I'm like, oh man, world is not enough. Probably the Nadir for me of like the Brosnan era. Right, here we are. We need to use... We're about to get to the bomb. Where's Neil? Is he in the chat? Yeah, yeah. 
So hello, Neil, and I can uh, I click your name, and then I can add the spanner to it. So we're going to use the planks here. Look at that. There you go to make a uh, makeshift bridge. It's two planks to use. And Mayday says, use your equipment, James. Urgh. Kissy Suzuki. Oh, God. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Right. Uh, winch drum, we use. Winch handle, use. Rope, use. There you go. There's a rope. Uh, hook conveyor handle, safety hat, no. And then what you'll need to do is ask Mayday to winch us down. Oh, hang on. There you are, Neil. There you go. Uh, boom. You now have the Spanner of Doom next to your name here. You'll be a VIP again on Twitch. And or and if you relink, you'll make sure your Discord is linked to your Patreon again. And you'll get access to all the Discord channels, of course. Welcome, Neil. Thank you again, matey. Uh, if I don't get to Blackpool, I have a ticket for starting Sunday if anyone needs one. Will you? You'll get there. Why can't Lucas drive you? <laughs> I hope you get it sorted, mate. I, you could get a higher car for the weekend. Might have cost a little bit, though. I've done it, Neil. I've already done it. There you go. So we ask what main data winches down. Got three minutes left. And there's the bomb and detonator. So now, what we need to do here is put in a code. Now, the question is, what is the code to use? Now, uh, without going into too much... Oh, how do we describe this? The game tells us that s uh, somewhere um, in, the, in the game, the, co the, the, the code is hidden. Right, okay? There is, the, the code is supposed to be hidden in the game somewhere. But no one, no one has found it yet. I worked it out. Well, actually, sorry. I'll say that again. No one has found... No one has found where you're supposed to find the code. We have worked it out by hacking the code and looking at the Spectrum version, which was a shared similar coders, right? So, uh, let's get this up. We need to work out the number sequence, right? We have found from the code. This is uh, something I, uh, I, I knocked up. I, I posted this on forums years ago for people to work out. The completed sequence we need to use is 67134 for the bomb. And we've got the available numbers there. The only clues we have is that they are, they are coloured in some way. One, one, one is red with a blue circle around. Two is orange with a pink circle. Three is green with a white circle, etc. That's the only clue that the Amsterdam version has compared to any other version of the game. Um... And those, those are the discarded numbers are not there. You can see that it goes sort of in numerical order, starting at six, seven, and then goes back to one, three, four. But like, how do we get to that? No one has ever worked it out. So what I'm going to do, guys and girls, is in my Discord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually um, post a pic, post that picture. And if anyone join the stream and work it out, there it is. It's in my Discord now. Uh, I will work, find out some amazing reward for you, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll work out some amazing rewards, right? Um, can't back there, actually. Oops. Um, how we worked it out, though? How we how did we find the sequence in the first place? Well, I'll show you, okay? We've got the, I'm going to get a, bring up a map of the ZX Spectrum version. Uh, where is it? Right, here's the specy version. Now remember the numbers were 67134. Can you see the numbers? Look closely. Look closer. Look closer. Six, seven, one, three, four. It's in the rocks in the mine. Right, there you go. But the Amstrad version. Not there. Would have been around this area. Now, I have scoured this map for hours upon hours upon hours. There's no rock formation that spells out 67134. This is the entire map. Can't see it. I can't see it. 
and I can't find any other clue in the game to it. Now, you might notice that some of the, room, the, the rooms are numbered as you move into them, so I had a look at that. That, that doesn't work out. Uh, 6 plus 7 is 13. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Mm. Actually, let's come back here. 6 plus 7 is 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. 6, 7, 1, 3, 4. That's not a bad guess, Craig. Uh, how would you know to add those particular numbers? That's a good start, though. Hey, Tommy. Hey, how you doing, matey? So you say that old computer games are cryptic. Very cryptic. Very. Oh! Mr. Manuel Schultz. Dude. With the 664. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Let the bananas rain down for Manuel. Thank you, Mr. Schultz and Mrs. Schultz. That's very, very, very kind of you guys. Thank you. Bananas in the chat there. Um, what a lovely mess of a map. It is Barry, Mr. Malamut there. Welcome, Malamut. Hey, Neil, you don't have to upgrade at all, matey. Do whatever you feel like doing, my friend. It's just it, whatever. You don't even have to be part of the Am Squad to be welcome here, of course. You know that. You know that well enough, hopefully. But thank you again, Neil. Thank you. You need Zorin Industries trips to solve this puzzle. Actually, actually, screw this, actually. Right, going back to the specy version. Um, bear in mind, there's the um, th there's the code, right, in, the, in there, right? But the spectrum screen size, how can I describe it? Uh, have I got a spectrum screenshot? Uh, I might have, might have. Um... One second. Oh, bloody hell. Chiefy89. Thank you for the one euro seven, uh, seven there through the super chat. Oh, thank you, Chiefy. That is very, very, very kind of you, my friend. Thank you. Let's give Chiefy some love and bananas in the chat, guys. There we go. <laughs> and yes, welcome back to the Am Squad, Mr. Neil Lovely. Thank you, Chiefy. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Enjoy your dancing, Lord Sugars, then. Enjoy your bananas. Thank you. So, I was just showing you guys. Look at the size of the Spectrum screen and the play area. That's all you get to see in the Spectrum version. So I ask you, looking at that, how the frick are you meant to see these numbers? When the screen size is about a post stamp size of the plate of whatever that number is. Mine, bl mine, uh, it blows my mind. Anyway, I'll come back off that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. The other thing um, we found, actually, this might help some people uh, trying to solve the code. Uh, six seven, so this is six seven one three four is the code, right? And um, someone actually wrote in a forum this, and I'll post it. I'll post it in the chat. It's the release date of the first Bond movie, Casino Royale, which hit cinemas on the thirteenth of April, nineteen sixty-seven, or in reverse order, sixty-seven, thirteenth of four April. Would anyone ever guess that? I don't think so. Literally on the title screen, or if you pick up the bomb and drop it, I'll show you actually. Uh, so if we put in a load of wrong numbers, or we'll do that, or I pick up the bomb there, it goes, Erg, what happens? It's fortunate that you're still alive. You do not enter the correct five digit number to defuse the bomb before picking it up. Throughout the game, you'll find seven numbers that you can pick up. When you're in the detonator room, you, can, you must use five of the numbers in the correct order. This will then diffuse the bomb so that you can pick it up. A clue to the correct number is, is hidden in the game. Dot, 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 dot. So the, there you go. It literally says it is hidden in the game, but I cannot see it. I'll tell you what I'll do as well. I will post a map in, the, in my Discord as well. Uh, mine's map. 
It's now in my Discord in the general chat. So if anybody wants to have a look at the map. Right. Anyway, without messing about too much now, let's just get this done. So we go six. Use. You can see the code being entered there, bottom right. Six, seven. Use. And then number one. Use. Three. Use. Four. Use. Bomb is diffuse. And as long as you've got the um, hook, you can pick up the de pick up this detonator and carry it on the winch. If you haven't got the hook, you'll just drop the bomb every time. That's cool. Oh yeah, we need to hook use, and then we ask Mayday to win. Oh, winch up. Oops. Ah. So sorry, I'm, a, I'm being a div here. I want winch up. There he goes. Whee! The bomb is defused. Uh, if anybody wants to see, you can't do anything more with Mayday here. So you can't touch or anything. There you go. So now we just need to escape. Got less than two minutes left. The first book was Casino Royale, though. I know, yeah. Yeah. Hang on a second. Right, let's get to the end and I'll catch up with the chat in just a sec. Oh, jump there. The, the entrance is now open. You can escape. It was This has been blocked before. You get this god-awful ugly screen. You get the detonator. You drop. The score to totals up there. Oh, we have to wait a while. Blimey. Game is a mess. Not sure how anyone ever completed it. I have spent more time, AD, on this game trying to work it out and then I think on any other Amstrad game. And there you go. You get that. Well done. You have saved Silicon Valley. The City Hall game is now loading. If you remember, guys, the game, when you complete this level, is supposed to give you a code to enter on the next level where's the code where is it it's not there they, they even cocked that up oh and Technic says according to imdb the first casino royal released on the 28th of april 67 oh so that might be completely wrong then was there like a real premiere before that uh, I never actually managed to watch through all of the, uh, the original Casino Royale film, the Peter Sellers and all that. Uh, I think I only managed about 10, 20 minutes of it before I switched it off and fell asleep or something like that. First Bond movie is Doctor No. Technically first Bond movie, yeah, of the proper franchise. But yeah, Casino Royale did come out before that technique, yeah. Um, maybe if you map it on graph paper, you'd see it. Uh, I, I don't think so. It's a good idea though, Tom. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, it's not loading. So what I have to do here is we are going to have to load up a snapshot here. Because uh, I've, I've... Oh, hang on. So I've mucked about a bit with snapshots earlier. Uh, Amstrad... City Hall is now loaded. There you go. City Hall game is now loaded. Press stop on the cassette. Blah, 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 blah. What's weird, on, on this level, there is no music at all on the title screen, unlike on the Mines and the Paris level, which we'll see after. But this is completely silent, even on the title screen. Never mind. There we go. We've just completed the big part of the game. So, uh... Oh, right. It's this level. Right, so, we're in City Hall. Um, if you remember, Bond um, breaks into City Hall in the movie to steal some documents or find some documents on Max Zorin or whatever. Yeah, here's the demo sequence. And he gets caught by Zorin and Mayday and they lock him in the room and they set fire to the building. They escape and then Bond has to escape and then he gets caught in a, in a lift shaft and that's on fire and Stacy's stuck in the lift shaft. Anyway, so it's this sort of takes off from that scene. Um, so Stacy in this in there here 
is stuck in the lift shaft and the building is slowly setting on fire and it's slowly being engulfed in flames and on here you have to go through i guess this is this this is a bit of a puzzle puzzler more than anything there's doors that need keys there's uh, cupboards or safes there's one that needs a particular color um key to open some doors don't have any keys but you can pick up a gun and shoot the doors open but you need to work out which doors they are um and i have i've spent the time and i've worked it out let me um let me bring up something here right okay i'm ready so i have made a map of this level there you go, there you go. The next level he says, the Prowse game can only be played in practice mode if you've not completed the City Hall game. This level does give you a code at the end. How is this game received uh, review-wise? I think okay. I think they sort of gave it around the 70% as Mark. Maybe a niche can remember. So this game is incomplete then, rushed out. Yes, it's a horrible rushed mess, AD. The programmers are actually quite talented guys. Um, I'm going to give the full story of this game uh, in an upcoming video. Um, anyway, but basically they were given a ridiculously short time scale to basically program three whole games in one. So all three suffered basically. And there was actually, f they're actually meant to do a fourth um, level, which was a scheme level at the start of the game. But Bond is skiing down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but that was completely ditched at the time. Play these Bond games as a kid. Yes, yes. I spent hours on this game. Hours. Anyway, just move over. So I made a map. Yes, I re I have. Let me just turn up the chat there just for a second. But this is the map, and I made this myself years ago, actually. And actually, I'm going to get this on the CPC Power website. Uh, and as you can see, I've done color coded for the doors and stuff like that. And I've put some notes here of where, what goes where. So like you get a blue door key over here that opens the blue door here. Yellow safe key opens this safe key. Do you know what? What I would normally do is I'd have a little maybe mini map on screen if I could. Uh, whilst I play the game so you can follow my progress. I haven't set that up for the tonight. So um, if anybody wants the map, I can post it in the Discord. But uh, what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to blast through this and try and get it done as quick as I can. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't get lost in this. So even with the map, <laughs> this is tough. Right, okay. I'm setting some few, just a couple of little bits of bobs up here. Right, let's start this off. And look, it actually literally asks you for the code. So we found the um, I found the city hall code in the literally in plain view in in the code of the game when playing the mines level. So I open up Win Winapes debugger and just search through for a string of five numbers and I found this five two nine three four. Well done. And we're on. We are now in the game. Um. Oh, you just went back and watched the intro smoothie. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Enjoyed it then. Hey, German78 mushing into the stream. No worries, matey. Oh, you missed my big entrance as well. Damn. Might be worth rewinding the stream to watch that. Sorry I'm late. Uh, Warhammer game went on longer than anticipated. I won though. Hey, you finally won, German. Excellent. Good man. Good man. Um... And Dirin Takai as well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. That's coming up next, German, the Living Daylights. Um, were, any, were any of the Bond games on the Commodore 64 decent OSG? And when are you doing a Bond video? If so, when is it coming out, dude? Right, okay. We start there. There's numbers to pick up here. We're actually leaving the numbers. Uh, again, it's a love and code to enter, but thankfully, um, you don't have to put the numbers in any order. You just have to find all the numbers and you can escape. I'm pick up the gun here. It's got the same system where you press fire and you get this little menu pop up. We found the, so we found the gun and we're going to pick up the gun. Now we need to keep going right and get the yellow door pass. 
so I don't know, I don't think this is gonna be this one particularly is not be is not gonna be a particularly exciting watch guys so I'm gonna just try and get through it as quick as I can left and down the stairs uh, and right I need a bullet for the gun there's only a set number of bullets this gun and use the gun you, you oh, hang on how do I search hang on, there we go the only use of your gun here is to, is to shoot doors open that you don't have a pass for. Um, so, we only have a limited amount of bullets, so watch out for that. Uh, <clears throat> and we need to get the another bullet, which will be over here. We'll pick that up. There we go. Right, get the next... Right, right get green door pass to the right here. There we go. Uh, right, I need to go down the stairs again. And use a green door pass. There's a problem in this level where you can only car carry a certain number of objects. And, um, and you don't want to hit that limit when you need to get uh, pick up an item. You've gone all the way over to the other side of the building. And you manage to work your way across there and then you find like you've, your inventory's full and you can't pick it up. Unlike the last level where you could collect everything and there was no limit. So, ugh. anyway, go green door, get you select the green door pass in use and boom, you're in. Okay. But um, to the right here, this is the exit to the game. But um, we'll come back here later on. Left the yellow door and use yellow. We've got the yellow pass to use. And we've got a yellow door all the way down here, according to my map. So, yellow door pass. Use. And we go to here. Let me just take a snappy here, just in case. So where I need to, uh, this is where I need to um, use the gun to open a door. Let me put this in the right place. Right, City Hall 2, there we go. Hey, Mr. Retro on Limb. Good evening, dude. How are you doing, my friend? Now, hopefully, if I use the gun here, I, if I'm in the right spot, this should blow the door open. Yes. That's all right. Okay, it worked. And we've got a bullet to pick up here. And we will... The white door. Oh no, I know where the white door key is. We'll come back to that in a bit. Um, should be a green safe key here in this room. Got that. Hey, Arnie the Biking. How you doing, my friend? Is it right now? It's raining so hard you can barely hear the stream. No, <laughs> oh no. Sorry to hear that, Arnie. All right, uh, get the white key left. We got the white door key. Oh. Uh, and the left there should be a red cupboard key to the left here as well. There we go. Pick up. There we go. Right, nice. Right, okay. Uh, put them down the stairs, then right, and use the white covered key. And Right, okay. I know where I'm going. I'm leaving that number there because it's near the exit. Right, so we need to use white covered key, use, and then we can search. We found a blue covered key. And we can pick that up. Oh yes, yeah, so then we can go to the white door all the way, all the way over here. <laughs> How's tricks, Retro and Liam? Have you finished work or are you just on a break from your shift? Right, uh, we've got white door key, use, and we're in. 
and then we want the green cupboard key on here use search positive code sign that's a weird thing to be called there's a positive code sign and a negative code sign to be found in the game you get both of them if you use both of them at the same time on a oh, strange looking door um what the hell is that actually uh, if you use it on a strange looking door later in the game um it will open it it's like a vault door or something like that right so we've got the positive code sign go right and up the stairs three times hey hey super Jim tendo an early appearance for you 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 know we normally get a 1 a.m <laughs> 1 a.m appearance oh, I've got to remember that oh hang on I missed the there's three interior downstairs uh, one two three uh go left to the orange door yeah oh we use a key to get a key <laughs> use a key on the cover to open the cover to then we can search and then get a key yeah 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 Tom. uh here i think we have to use the gun um ba, 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 ba. yeah just should blow the door open yes awesome uh okay. go left and ne oh there's another orange door to blow open here right okay cool 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 and you notice the fire is now spreading in the building but when you actually get to a room that is actually on fire, you don't actually see any flames. All that happens is you don't get killed. All that happens is you lose score. That's it. So who cares about score? We just want to get through the game. Um, there are buckets of water you can pick up and use. Uh, okay. So like we can search bucket of water. Actually pick it up. We're in a room where there's fire, if you noticed. We use the bucket water use. It'll extinguish the fire there, but not for long. And all we do, all, all that happened there was we lost a bit of score. Got a load of rubbish. Oh, bullets pick up here. Uh, so let's go around and take bullet left and downstairs. Times three. Okay. But I'm just going to try and bash through this as quick as I can. One, two... Three. I've got some. I've got some instructions are written out here, and I'm sort of a guide. Go to the orange door and use gun. Oh sugar! I think I've gone the wrong way. Where the frick's the orange door? Oh, I think it's this one. Uh. Right, okay. We should be able to... No, hang on. I'm... I, oh, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I think I've got lost. A little bit lost here. Uh, let me just catch up with the chat anyway. How you doing, Jim? Anyway, nice to see you. What day is this platform thing? 23rd of October. So, my God. So close now. Um, Bond is impervious to fire. Confirmed. Thank you, Barry. Hey, no worries, Neil. Catch you back in a bit. No worries at all, dude. Um... Oh, no, 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 I'm an idiot. Okay. Sorry guys. Right, I know where I'm going now. We do need to go down here. Red cover key. Use. And then we can uh, search. Yellow door key. And pickle. Go left to take the bullet. left take the white door pass i don't think this is actually necessary this one 
There's a whole section with a white door and bullets behind each door which you have to shoot open. But uh, it doesn't really seem to make a difference. I think this is a bit of a waste of time. But we're taking it anyway. Uh, uh, right upstairs, we use gun on orange door. Another room where we can use a gun. Make sure in the right place. I think that's about the right place. I'm going to take a snapshot here just in case. Where's the gun? Use. There we go. In the door. There's a white door here. And we get a, we get a bullet. And a dead end there. There you go. Alright, I'm only going to go up to the top of the top of the plane area here and now my mods use the bucket of world water. There we go. Put out some of the fire there. Uh, now at the top. There's nice no little sugar in the pitch though. He looks like Tommy Steele tap dancing lol. Oh, in the background! Yes, yes, sorry, I, I wondered what you were talking about there, OSG. Right. That is what it is one large giant bullet, yes, yes. Um right. Uh Good afternoon news gun on orange door. Right, okay, right, I know I'm going now. Another gun to be used here. Blowing the door no door open. We could actually take. We're actually going to pick this up because it's such, such far away from the, the exit. That number. Um, green door key. Pick up. Uh, right. 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 Let's go right all the way right to the yellow door. Oh god, the fire's really spreading. Door key. Uh, I think I need to go a little bit faster. Got a green door key now we can use on here. This opens up the whole top of the area, which is going to be really useful for later on. And we're going to just get number four and just drop it here. Uh, okay, I'm going to go down here. Take a snappy here very quickly. Hey, Zeprow! Welcome, Zeprow! Oh, you got some out. For some reason, your message got retracted there. Uh, but hello, Zeprow! How are you doing? Oh, there you go. That's a trippy looking bucket of water. It is indeed. Why is it all rainbow coloured? It's a bit of a strange thing. And Flameproof! Welcome back to the stream as well. Hello, hello, hello. And again, your message got retracted. I don't know what happened there. But welcome, Flameproof. Hope all is good with you. God. Right, this is taking longer than I uh, hoped tonight, but let's just carry on. I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can. He's gone on red door. We're nearly done. Go left and use a blue. So apparently, guys, this, this cupboard is apparently a blue cupboard. <laughs> but it's coloured green and pink. So use blue cover key on it, and it opens up. Great game, well done, well done, well done. We've got the wrong colours there, fantastic, but never mind. Right, take the red door pass. I'll leave number six there for time being. Uh, let me just check. Right, we need to go up and then all the way left. Red door. Hopefully we've got enough bullets to shoot it open. This red door doesn't have a pass that works for it, so. Gone. <gasps> what? Why did that why did that not work?
No, I must have missed a bullet somewhere. Yoga. What the fart? Oh man. How is that possible? I'm s I that is just Whoa, what's happened there? We got we do have a save point to go back to, but how are we down a bu a missing a bullet? Loving the red dish of Duran Duran. Hey Mr. Bads, how you doing Mr. Bads? Good to see you mate. Uh, can I play Basil and Bond? I might do at the end of the stream if I've got time. Um, what the fuck? Did I, did I forget to pick up a bullet somewhere? Down one, there's a, there's a bullet should have picked up here. Unless the game glitched. Oh, hang on, have we still got a red door pass? Have I read the? I think I might have misread the instructions. Shh. Sugar. Uh oh. So we use the gun here. I've just reloaded the snapshot, guys, because I think I wasted some bullets. So we're only about not far back. A blue cupboard, right? Sorry guys, I was getting panicked there. I was like, oh god, don't tell me after all that. Yeah, we got a red door pass. I'm an idiot. It's a red door pass. I need to use, not the gun. So I did waste a bullet there. So, and you only get a limited amount of bullets. You've got just enough to blow open the doors that don't have a pass. And if you use up, use up all the bullets, that's tough crap. You are stuck and you can't get out. Red door pass. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, I need to search, sorry. Blue door key, even though it's p grey and pink. Uh, go right all the way, second staircase. I'm right at the building. Right, I know where I'm going. Oh, sorry. I had a little panic attack there. <laughs> hey, Mr. Main Hayes. Good evening. Welcome, dude. Oh, you remember this. Hopefully, we're about to beat it. For the first time ever, live on a live stream. Uh, what we got here, then? Yellow cupboard key. Pick up. Um... Down the stairs times two, then go right. Oops. How was your stream, Mame Hayes? How did you do? How was it? I believe uh, you were playing Specky games this evening. Get a cup of key, use, search, and we get a blue door pass, and we pick that up. Oh, right, okay. Left up the stairs one. And we could get through this blue door. And what do we have here? This is the negative code sign. Remember I said there was a positive and a negative code sign. And when you use them together, you can get through a locked, special locked door. And um, way to the left hand staircase. Right, keep going left. My god, the fire has engulfed the building. Half the building is a is a blaze now. I 
And we now... We can actually use this bucket of water if you want to. There we go. I don't know if that helps at all. We now get to this strange thing here. This looks like a vault door. So we use, a, use the positive code sign use. And then the negative code. And it opens this door up. And what do we find here? We find a hose pipe. Hmm. Remember Stacy Sutton is stuck in the lift shaft. How does Bond rescue her in, in the movie? He gets a fire hose and chucks it down from the top. Right. Got the number one. Should have number four as well. And we need to go all the way to the top here. Going up there. We need to go to the lift shaft, which is here. Let me take a stay safe point here just in case. And you get the hose pipe and use. You get a message there. Hurry, James, get the numbers and leave. So we have rescued Stacy Sutton. Even though you don't really see her or anything like that. We have rescued Stacy. There you go. <laughs> um, and now we can escape. We just need to pick up the rest of the numbers and get the hell out of here. Uh, so we need to pick up all the numbers. We should be positioned all the way over to the right here. Roughly around where we need to get to the exit. We've got five. Search. Pick that up quickly. Got four here that we dropped earlier. Five, four. We now got the message that we've rescued Stacy, which is actually cool. Uh, where did we drop that number? I think six is it. There it is. There it is. Pick up. So how many numbers we got? We've got one, four, five, six. So we got two and three to find, and I think they're down on the bottom floor, so we're all good. Andy UK Monkey, good evening. Welcome, Andy. How you doing? Nice to see you again. Oh, and Mikey and Janie, good evening, Mikey. How you doing, my friend? House tricks? Uh, just time for a bit of you to a kill. I think it's your favourite Bond movie, dude. Search number two, pick up, and I think that should be all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's the exit. We're at the bottom right hand corner. We've rescued Stacy. Fingers crossed. Let's take a snappy here, actually. Fingers crossed. This has worked. Yes! You have completed the City Hall game. We get a crappy text message there. Uh, the next game is now loading. When uh, when you start to play the game, you'll be asked to enter a special code. This level actually gives you the code unlike the first level. The code that you must enter is 49152. There we go. Oh, Ruprim! Good evening, Mr. Ruprim. How are you doing? Alright, uh, I'm going to have to load up the disc version again here quickly. And we'll, shoot, we'll load it from the disc version. 49152. Oh, thank God. I know that wasn't the most exciting watch in the world, guys. I know. I know, I know. But it's done. That was probably the most... Probably the bo most boring to watch. Because it's like... I'm working from a map and notes that you can't see. You just see me wandering around, picking up stuff and using stuff. And it's like... Each room looks the same. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But there you go. That is like kind of like the 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 low point of the gameplay experience, I suppose. Viewing experience for a game. Right, Paris game. So oh, it's all in the wrong order. Okay, Rainer. You have to be so negative all the time, Rainer. Blimey. Well, I don't think you'll, you probably won't enjoy this for this level either. In fact, it's my least favourite level in the game. Um, let's see. G, G, thank you, FC Den Hub. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Thank you, Moors. There. 
Um, and Claude Rains. Uh, hello, my friends. It's morning from Port Moresby. Hello, Amswalkers. <laughs> and yes, we rescued Stacey Didham, says Crazy Bob. Roger Moore is the real James Bond. Oh, I love Roger Moore. I think I might just go with Dalton, though. Why does James Bond look like Daley Thompson in this level? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Ali. Sorry I missed that. Yeah, the graphics animation took a little nosedive on uh, this one there. Hey, Mr. Jess Jukes. Good evening, Jester. How you doing, mate? Welcome, dude. How's Strix, man? How's your week been? Right. Oh. This is a this is a level I am not looking forward to. Not looking forward to it at all. Let's start it. Uh, press by to play. If you're given a call in City Hode, enter it now. Right, okay. This is going to be really hit and miss if I manage to beat this. Right, 49152. There we go. Right, I'm just going to pause it there and take a snapshot just very quickly. Um, where am I? Uh, we have something special. Right, uh, Paris 1. Okay. So... So, what <laughs> what the hell is this? Right, okay. So, this thing here, you can see, if you could all see my mouse cursor, this thing here is the Eiffel Tower, right? Believe it or not. And if you remember, earlier on the movie, rather than, even though this is like the last level in the game, Mayday does a um, jump off the Eiffel Tower and opens up a parachute. Bond is in the blue taxi Chasing around the streets of Paris. Oh, gay Paris. And uh, this here is a parachute of Mayday. And basically, you've got to drive around Paris, uh, follow Mayday, and then catch her when she lands at exactly the right moment. Uh, this is going to be really difficult because at points in the game, in the level, like she'll be going down a certain way and then she'll suddenly change at the last second. And you're in a series of dead ends. And then you never know where she's going to end up then. It's a pain in the bum. Um, I think I've got a map I'm going to be looking at. Keeping an eye on. But essentially, she will land in one of four... Uh, sorry. So there's four corners of the map she can, eventually, she can eventually land in. Plus two midpoints at the side of the map. Uh, and I think one potential landing spot very top center of the map but always on the edge of the map so there 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 and there if you can imagine like the map being a big square and you only get to see a tiny tiny portion of it there in the game screen oh hey uh, if you're off to bed um um chiefy good night my friend and thank you for the dono earlier as well man i really really appreciate it take care dude Oh, right, here we go. So I'm the blue car. I'm following the white thing with the cross through it. That's Mayday in a parachute. And yes, we get this god awful beeping. The grey cars, there's one actually chasing me at the moment, are police. You get this weird 3D viewpoint, which is utterly useless at the top of the screen there. I know that beeping is annoying. The closer you are to Mayday, the louder the beeps. I've lost her already. There she is. Right. I'll take a snappy there.
Oh, well, she goes off here. I think we're in a dead end here. Oh! The ghost of Albert Broccoli has donated a 464. The magical 464 there. Oh my goodness. The ghost of Albert Broccoli. Who is that? Let's have a look. Great work. Oh, oh, Sai. You could be the next Bond. <laughs> Let's see if I can find out who that is. I think that might be a man shovel, I'm guessing. I think that was a man shovel there. Bananas in the chat. Or puds. Get your puds out for man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Thank you very, very much to Magical464 there. <laughs> Brook Pond. God damn it, where's Mayday gone? Oh, she's there. Problem is, we're kind of stuck in a dead end area here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go keep going down here. No! We know she's flown over here somewhere. Us, 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 us. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. The beeps are getting closer together. I think we've lost her. All right. The signal's completely dead almost. Where the frick has she gone? But, oh, yes. You can see on the left there, there's an altitude meter. It's counting down. You've got to be at the right spot when that hits zero. Because that's her altitude. Oh! The beams are getting closer. She's nearby. She's there! I'm taking a safe point here. So basically, we've got to make sure we're in the right spot when she lands. Choose the wrong one and it, 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 we'll get screwed. Can you play the original soundtrack in the background or is that not allowed on the t YouTube? Oh, mate, I'll get copyrighted up the wazoo um, for that FC Den Haag. That's why I'm using uh, in-game Bond music I've ripped. Um, in fact, I did li uh, long plane review videos of all the Bond games, and I actually used, I thought I could get away with it by playing it really, really quietly in the background and talking over it, but they've all been copyright claims since. Uh, so, no, and it means I've got to redo all my li long plane review videos, one of which is A View to a Kill. Which hopefully uh, I'll have done for the start of next week. So it'll be this one. But explained in more detail. Um. Oh, 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 where did you go? I looked away for a second. Which way did it go, guys? Ah! Oh! There! Oh my god. Right, I've got to take a save here. I'm going to guess she's going to float over here. There. 
There she goes. Somewhere up there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, she's miles away from me now. I've lost her. GTA 464 looks mint. <laughs> Problem is, there's a river in the way here. She might have gone over the river. Also, look at the altitude. Altitude is getting really low. Uh oh. Oh, there's the police car. Uh, do we carry on down here? Damn it, I think she must have come back on us. She must have gone a different way. Sugar. Ow! Let's get back over the river. <laughs> the lovely Lewis Waddo. Good evening. With the 449 there. 8-bit double O heaven. Evening Zypho. Evening fellow AMS fans. Big love to the lot of you. Hey Lewis. Thank you my friend. Can we have some bananas in the chat? For the lovely Lewis there. Thank you Lou. You're such a generous, generous dude. Thank you man. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you, mate. How are you? How's things at the arcade club? There's a... Oh, I shot the police there. That's not good. There is a small possibility I could be coming your way. Oh, her altitude is really dropping. She's She's gone somewhere. The police are after me. Oh, I've, I, I've completely lost her. Now at the far edge of the map. I don't think we are anywhere close. Look at the altitude. Sugar. Thankfully, I've got a snapshot to reload from. But she's going to be landing at a spot very, very soon. There's one of the landing spots there. Sugar. Yeah, we've absolutely napped it up. Right, let's reload from here. So we, we've just taken a reload there. She must have been... She must have been bottom left last time. So we've just rewound about a few minutes, basically. Hmm... Okay. I'll strict Lou anyway. Uh, Grace Jones scared me as a kid, says FC Den Haag. I don't know. I thought she was great. We've lost him again. Or her, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Let me just catch up with the chat there. Take a, take a moment there. Um, I missed the start of this living daylights. That's coming up next, Jez Dukes. Little of you to a kill is taking way longer than I expected. Oh. Yeah, she Grace Jones is awesome in this section in this um uh, part of the movie as well. She's great in the movie. Uh the G spot Sire Fire. <laughs> We're finding G uh, Grace Jones's G spot. Bloody hell. Is she up here or put up? It's like the top left of the map. Oh. Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello, there she is. Is she gonna go. Look, the, and, and there's a landing spot right there. Is she gonna go for that? She might not. So we know where she's going. I think you have to wait till the altitude gets to zero and you can arrest her. This should work. This should work. It sometimes doesn't, though. It sometimes doesn't give you. Right, if it happens, we've got a snapshot before that to jump back to. If I have to be there before she hits that landing spot, before she starts descending, that might be what it is. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Taylor's World. How you doing, my friend? Hopefully, we're about to beat and finish a view to a kill. And we can bloody move on from this sodding game. It's taking way longer than I hoped tonight. Here we go. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, James. You've managed to capture Mayday and your mission was a success. M has given you two weeks leave. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is all you get. There you go, GG's, that is a view to a bloody kill beaten, and that was painful, that was painful. <clears throat> ambitious game, they tried to be ambitious in this one, and kind of fell short a bit, didn't they boys and girls? Thank you for the GG's, Boily Bear as well, welcome my friend, how are you? Uh, good to see you again dude, aka Mr. Batman. Uh, 77. Thank you, Boily Bear. Welcome, welcome to the GG's. Your mission, I know. So, was it Malamut was asking, I think? Um, you don't get a congratulations screen if you're playing this in practice mode. And if you're playing this, you only play in practice mode if you don't enter the code from the pre you've given in the previous level. The City Hall is very completable, and it always gives you the code at the end. So that works fine, and you can use this code here. And it... All it does means you get this congratulations screen. That is it. What's annoying is the score you can score on, like the mines level and the city hall level, it, that map perhaps should carry over to the next game, uh, to the next level or whatever, but it doesn't. And that, was, it, well, that would have been a very, very easy thing to do. And then it just goes back to this, so. Um, I think we've heard enough of that music. So, bloody hell. Let me, um, I'm going to change the tunes for a little bit. Let's put on some 24-7 just for a little bit. Just for a change of music there. Oh, good work, Zypher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can now, at last, move on to the living daylight. Uh, I think View to a Kill gets a bad rep. We, there was, there is so much broken in the game so many bugs it's frustrating that 
Uh, you're supposed to be able to find the code, for the, the diffuse code for the bomb and the mines level. But it's nowhere. I've spent years looking for it. I've had teams of people on forums, Facebook groups, Twitter and wherever looking. Has anyone managed to crack out how the code was done in our Discord? Let's have a look. Uh, let's just check my Discord. No. No one's had a code. If anyone could work out how we get this sequence of numbers from these available numbers, that is the actual sequence. We had to hack the code, if you remember. That is the sequence. That's how we found it. But there's supposed to be a hint or something in the game to help you find that sequence. If anyone can work it out after watching this, go and post the Discord. There's the puzzle. If you could solve that puzzle, you would have beaten hundreds, if not thousands, of people who have looked at that forum post and Facebook post from a few years ago where I asked the same question. You you will have a big, big brain and lots of respect for me if you can figure it out, because I can't. Oh yeah, I don't need that again. Um, okay, so... Before we move on to uh, the Living Daylight, I'm just going to get another drink from the fridge, guys. And I'm just going to have a very, very quick uh, break to the toilet. Um, good timing, Neil, because I've got sick of a view to a kill. And we finally beat the game. We can move on to Living Daylight. So. Ah. <laughs> best Bond film, says Mikey. So. Um. We talked about that, but what's your scores out of 10 for a view to a kill, the computer game? Personally, there is some, I know there is some talented coders behind this game because I've spoke to them. And each of the coders, Gary Knight and um, uh, Gary Werfield Wallace. Oh, Burfield Wallace. Sorry, I forgot the name wrong there, if he's watching. Um... Went on to do some very good Amstrad games and work on some big projects, and they were talented coders. They were just not given enough time by Domark. Part of the problem was, I'm told, is that they got a team, there was a, another separate team of designers that Domark employed at the time to design the game. And those designers had no idea how a computer game was made and how much little space there is available in memory and all that kind of stuff. So they had these wild and crazy ideas. There was going to be a skiing level and all sorts. So basically they had to cut it down. So like they managed to whisk it down to three games in one. Mines, City Hall, Paris, Chase. But each of them don't really excel. But I did spend hours as a kid exploring that mines level. And I loved it. So I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. While you're scoring it guys, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a drink from the fridge. I'll be right back. We're going to have some more Bond fun after this After this very, very short break. I'll be right back.
Alright guys, I'm back. Let me just turn that down a bit. <laughs> so we are back. It's time for The Living Daylight. My favourite Bond movie. Probably of all time. <laughs> oh Mikey. Oh thank you matey. Um, you... Oh my god. So Retron Lim, Mikey and Tazong. Thank you. You missed my big entrance. So... Rewind the stream to after the um, like the intro, my usual intro, the full the full effect. I love this game. This, ladies and gentlemen, I think is the first like Amstrad game bought for me outside of my Amsoft games, and it was my first Christmas game Amstrad games. And this beautiful thing arrived. In my Christmas stocking, and I unwrapped it, and I was like, oh, "It's my favourite movie!" And my, it's on the Amstrad. I've got the Amstrad game, and just look at that poster. That poster is freaking awesome. I think that is probably the best poster art of any Bond movie, in my opinion. And I love, love the movie so much. It's the first movie, really, at, the, at my local cinema that I went back and saw more than once. And when it first came out, I think I saw... Let me just... Uh, let's put some background music on quickly. I think I saw this one, uh, this film, um, at least about four times at my local cinema. I went back so many times that um, the uh, like the people that ran the cinema, they gave me all like, their promotional stuff when they finished showing the movie. Because <laughs> I came back to watch it again <laughs> and it was like, we've stopped. But here, and they gave me this like cardboard cutout. It was like a, it's like a three D cardboard cutout of that movie poster. But Bond was like like a separate cutout in front of a background. Oh man! And had a poster and stuff. I loved it. I just loved the. I think the um the opening pre title sequence of The Living Daylights, one of the best ever. Um, where he's on the rock of Gibraltar. And uh, he jumps off the back of that jeep. Oh, brilliant. And he parachutes out the back of the jeep while it explodes. He lands on the yacht with the, that lovely lady. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. I was sold and I was a huge Bond fan from that moment on. And I was so excited when I got this game. So excited. I loved it. But um, we shall find out how it fared. OSG, if you're watching, you know what we were talking about on Facebook Messenger the other day? This will be useful for your video, right? Probably, probably. So uh, let me just... I uh... don't want that. Let's load up 007, The Living Daylight from Domark Software, released in 1987. You look at get getting all those Bond freebies. I know, I don't know what happened to like this, the cardboard cutout thingy. It was literally only about this tall. But what I used it for, I used to hide. I used to keep my pens and pencils just behind the Bond figure, and it got really battered and knackered. I'm gonna ask my parents this weekend actually if it still exists. But it was it's really beat up and knackered. They probably oh, they probably chucked it away. I'm too busy to watch. I'm like Goodwill Hunting here. That mines level code, mate. If you could work it out. I'll, I'll have your babies, OSG. <laughs> I don't want the next way to Moscow in the diplomatic bag. Yes. For me, The Living Daylight was like almost like the perfect Bond movie. It just had all the right elements perfectly. The only, the only, the only, the only element of The Living Daylight that was missing was I think a lot of the humour. If Dalton could have nailed some humour better, it'd be like 10 out of 10, 100%. But um, that's the only thing lacking from Dalton's Bond. There, there are some quips and jokes he makes, but they don't really land like they would if it was Roger Moore. Roger Moore does comedy way better than anyone. Oh, Smoothie asked, how did Dom Art get the rights to, well, anything? If you missed the start of the stream, Smoothie, um, we talked about it very briefly. But one of the brothers who ran Dom Art, Remember, Domark is Dominic and Mark. Their two names combined, Dominic and Mark, to make Domark. One of them, their dad or their uncle or cousin was really good friends with Ian Fleming, apparently. 
So they had a contact and they got in with the Bond crowd and convinced them to give them the Bond license. Even though they'd only made like a couple of really crappy games beforehand. Before doing the abuse to a kill. And they kept the Bond license and they managed to keep it all the way up to the early 90s. Uh, nah, his sarcastic ice cold deliveries were just perfect. They were, but it still needed some humour, some either somewhere else than Crazy Borg. That then would make it absolutely perfect. Otherwise, it's still my favourite uh, Bond and favourite uh, favourite movie. Don Rock was not good at games. Interesting, you bring that up, Neil. Before we start, um, last year we we did like a. Um, a special Dom Arc stream. We did parts one and parts two, play through all the Dom Arc games. So essentially, this is part three in the final part of those Dom Arc streams, because um, what we missed out of those Dom Arc streams are the bomb games. But the other Dom Arc games we looked at, Dom Arc had the reputation of being absolutely terrible, and they had some terrible, terrible games like Pit Fighter, Super Space Evaders, Use the Kill gets a bad rep. Um, what we found from those Dom Arc, straight, Dom Arc streams was that a lot of the Dom Arc games are pretty decent. They ha they were either average to okay to quite good, but they never had one game Dom Arc that really excelled, and that was brilliant. That's that's the de that's the only thing I'd say about Dom Arc, and that's what we discovered from those streams previous. So there you go. Right, let's play the Living Daylights, and we're gonna try and play it how you are apparently meant to play it. Okay, I'm gonna kick things off. You'll see. I love the presentation here and the sound. So you've got a paint god, and if you remember, you're on a training mission and the Rock of Gibraltar, and you've got the SAS guys popping up and shooting you, and your energy's going down. What you should do is, what the game is trying to make you do, is take out all the bad guys, the paint gun, and then move on to the next section. Take out the next bad guys, right? Yeah. And then move on. That should, is that all of them shot? Except they're popping up again. They're, we already shot that guy. We shot that guy already. And we've shot that guy before. And that guy. All right, can we move on now? Look at my energy after all that. He's respawned. And, oh god, the targeting of this crosshair is so... And you're dead. What the hell are you supposed to do here? They don't stay down. That one pops up. He's back up again. That guy's back up again. And he's back, and he's back. And him, and him. Right, are they all back? Oh, no! Be... Are they all gone now? Can we go? No! He comes straight back up! Oh, look at my energy! So what's the point in shooting any of them? When they all just, like, respawn. What is the point? This is just like, change the gun. Uh, no, uh, if you change the wall, I think you can change the wall for PPK, but you're not supposed to be shooting them with the wall for PPK. Essentially, you're on a training mission. I'll change the wall for PPK and see what happens, actually. Can't shoot them with the wall for PPK. Because essentially, they're on your side. You are on a training mission, and they're firing paint gun bullets at you, apparently. But it still drains your energy, paint, paint gun pellets. So OSG, if you're watching, this is what I'm on about. I have gone through nearly all the different conversions of Living Daylights, and they all do the same. Which is basically, like, you knock down the enemies in the background, and they just come, they keep springing back up again. And so there's no point in taking them out. The only version, the only version that puts a cooldown timer on a downed like, enemy in the background and that I've found so far is the Commodore 64 version. 
Um, they don't spring up as frequent on the Commodore 64 version, but I've been testing it, and when you shoot them, they seem to stay down for a long time. So you can clear off like a screen's worth of enemies, move on to the next screen, stop, bring out your gun, shoot. Otherwise, all this is, if you're not supposed to, if you're not, if there's no point stopping to shoot anything, it's just run from left to right, hope you make it to the end of the level, and that's it. Repeat and repeat for nearly every level in this sodding game. Now, as a kid, playing this at Christmas, I quite liked it. I love the graphics. I love the presentation. I love the, like, the logo there, the faded colours. Um, even though you don't really hear the Bond theme, I really like David Whittaker's like, jingles in this. That's because the C64 always does it right. <laughs> But I, I thought this might be interesting, useful for your video, OSG. Anyway, I was going to show this to everyone regardless. But, like, what is the point? So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to load it up again. So if we're going to beat this game, we're going to need all the lives we can, we, can, we, we can muster. So I'm just going to reload. And we're just going to leg it, as Mikey says there. I never understood the point of points as well, yeah. So you can rack up extra score. But why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? So there you go. Um, so I don't know why the code has done it. It's such a simple thing. If you if you shoot an enemy, but like stop him spawning for like 30 seconds or something. It gives you 30 seconds to clear the screen of enemies. And move on to the next one. It's such a simple change. It's so aggravating. This would have been actually quite a good game. I've played the Commodore 64 version where it kind of does it. They do respawn, but not so quick. Um... But it's playable, and it's quite enjoyable, even though the jumping is terrible on the Commodore 64 version, I have to say that. Oh, it looks potentially decent. That's right, Maud. Potentially decent, but they, they, just, they screwed up my favourite movie conversion. Ah! Still annoyed, still annoyed after all this time. You're not... It's even more annoying because you can tell they've got decent graphics, they've got decent movement and scrolling, they've got decent jingles. There's a talented team of coders behind it. But how could you screw up such a simple gameplay thing? Ah! It's gonna be false. No, it's uh, I've tried different versions like the tape of this, I've tried the Spectrum version, the Atari 800 version, um, there's a BBC Micro version, the MSX version, they're all the same. They're all the same! Right. Okay. Chill. <laughs> alright, alright, we're gonna kick this off. Angry video, Zai. That's about the angriest you'll see me about a computer game. I think I'm right for I'm gonna take a snapshot here, by the way, guys, sorry. Um I think I'm rightfully rightfully angry about it. Because it's my favourite Bond movie of all time. In my, it's probably my top three movies of all time. And there's a lot of good, good stuff going on here. So all we do is we don't even stop. Oh, hang on. I've tripped over there. All you're doing is hold down the right key and jump a little bit. Okay, we're going to have to shoot a bad guy at the end. Oh, God. Look at my energy. Where's the bullets coming from? Where are I? Where am I being shot from? Reload. <laughs> I'm turning into the angry video game nerd on this one. It still annoys me. It still bloody annoys me. <laughs> I know it's only a game. Right. This guy. We have to shoot him with the Wolf of PPK. Set the Wolf of PPK. Got him there. That's the um, Russian spy who's been killing off, killing off double O agents of Schmierspionen. Right. Oh, this is the Q, Q brand shop, and you have to choose the the right weapon or a gadget for the level ahead. And on this one, you need the night vision goggles. Um, otherwise, everything's in black, but it's completely pointless. Um, hey, German. Good night, German seventy eight. <laughs> so, uh, take care, man. Good night, dude. Mushing out of the stream. The theatre. 
Right, let's take a snappy there. So, we'll put the night vision goggles on. And there you go. That's all you see. I am doing nothing here apart from holding down the right key. We don't get our energy restored at the start of the level. And so you get immediately wiped out. What's the Russian spy doing in the training camp? Hey, Simon. How you doing, matey? Uh, ha have you not seen the movie before? That's the opening sequence of the movie. Bond's on a training mission and there's a Russian spy take taking out um, uh, double O agents. I think he just, he's there to kill one particular agent to send a warning for the British spies to keep their noses out of Russian business. Oh god, look at my look at my energy level. I'm not going to do it. <gasps> just bloody hell. Uh, we need the hard hat on this level. We're in the industrial complex and pipes get dropped down from us on from on high. Uh, let me just take a break of this. Let's catch up the chat there. The scores coming in for the game already. Three and a half out of ten and two out of ten from uh, Man Shibble and Retro on Lim. Um, put this in the two for high score challenge. See how many people do score high and finish it. <laughs> Good lord, no. I wouldn't be that evil. I wouldn't be that evil. He also says, this is 199 players of peeling label. Are you saying this is that, it's that bad, it should be a 199 budget game from players with a, with a crap box. Is that what you're saying, Neil? Not a huge fun fan, I'm afraid. Hey, no worries, Simon, no worries. I am, sadly, one of the, one of, one of the only few things I'm slightly obsessed with, along with the Amstrad, is I, lo I love my Bond movies. Um, and this, this Living Daylights was my favourite, my favourite... Seriously, a hard hat from Q. Good point, Tom. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, it's the James Bond running simulator, Arnie, essentially. Yeah, 0.5 from Neil. Hey, Tor Paul, good evening. Even, uh, even all late to the game, like a low red Tempe Dalton. Hope you're all well and had a good week. Hey, I hope you had to, I hope you had too, Paul. Nice to see you, TP. We should to try and uh, no miss clear. It's impossible, Moors. Possible not to lose a life on this because your energy never gets restored. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Did like a few Roger Moores, didn't we all? <laughs> Simon. Yeah, actually, my favourite Roger Moore. Uh, what's everyone's favourite Roger Moore film? Uh, I'm going with Octopussy. One before View to a Kill. I think he was best in that. Although Spy Love Mate was bloody great. But I, I, I find. Octopussy just a little bit more fun. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Pause my music here. Did I take a snapshot? I did. So it's going to be very unlikely I get through this level without dying because of my health. Got the right, I'll do that again. And we really need to do this level without dying. Damn it, I'm not... Oh, let's try that again. Moonraker. I love Moonraker. I know it gets slagged off. We'll try and do this without dying. I put a hard hat on! What? Those pipes are not supposed to hurt me. Yes, get in. Oh, I love that Lotus as well, Robin. Uh, what's this one? I can't remember which one you use this. I don't think it matters which one. Okay, things start to get a little bit interesting now because now we have like kind of like a boss battle, if you want to call it that. We have the evil Necros to... Uh... Oh, the Ghetto Blaster doesn't work. Oh! I've picked the wrong weapon. I was going to die there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Do you know what? I better take a snappy here, actually. It's not that. Rocket launcher. Have that. I thought I had to quit the hard hat there. 
Oh, that's unlucky. That's... Oh, man. Let's try that again. Got him. Oh, that helicopter could go eat a... Oh, we managed it there. Not much health left. Oh. Right, this one, definitely you need the crossbow. We're at the fairground. And he's throwing explosive balloons at us, believe it or not. And yes, I am using a crossbow here. <gasps> Damn it! And I'll try that again. Because I need to have as much energy as I can going into the next uh, level. So if I lose a life here, I'm going to maybe miss the odd blue. One might just sneak through. And I don't care I'm using snapshots on the levels. Uh, I don't want to be here all night. Right, there you go. And you can now kill him with the Walter PPK. There you go. He doesn't use explosive balloons in the movie, does he? That's the only thing that's a bit odd about that. This one, you need the tranquilizer darts. Because you have to actually shoot the police here. And you actually don't actually want to kill them. Let's just pause a second there. Uh, hang on. Let's take a moment here. Um... Sniper, did you ever play the Amsterdam CPC game? Take a snappy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what's the one in Solitaire in Asobis G? Oh, Live and Let Die. That's that's coming up next. That That's the next game, actually. Uh, uh, Crazy Boy said, I will, li I will like the duality of Octopus. The backstory is devious and played out realistic. And they cover it with a circus and all-female smuggling crew, but it works. The only thing I don't like about that movie, Crazy Borg, is uh, Bond disguising himself as a clown. It's just... Bond just wouldn't do that. It's just not Bond. And also, that makeup, he managed to put all that makeup on and that costume in a, in a space of about 30 seconds. So I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> Time to hit the ghetto blaster and start the pretenders. Where has everybody gone? That's a great tune as well. It's a great, a great soundtrack on the Living Daylights, definitely. Um... Bonnie Bear says, Living Daylight's got a 68% in Amstrad action. How? Much better than much better than the last Bond game. Because looks are deceiving, I think. It's got nice graphics. It moves decent enough. Great jingles. Great presentation. Nice loading screen. It looks like a more of a professional package. But little did they know. I just don't think they played it enough to really appreciate, oh, the gameplay is completely broken on like the first few levels. And the crossbill can't kill the guy there. Uh, Pennywise was in James Bond. Sort of, yeah. This looks tedious. It's it's okay, actually. What's it got a past the annoyance the first two bloody levels? Timothy Dalton was excellent in Hot Fuzz. And in Doom Patrol. That's the only reason I watch Doom Patrol. Because Dalton is it. Also, um, what's that uh, horror movie series called? Penny, Penny Dreadful. Was it Dalton was in Penny Dreadful as well, and he was it was he was good in that as well. Have to use the dart gun. Can get killed uh, right away, unfortunately. Not enough energy to do it. It does have a good Bond feel to it. Oh, uh, F FC Den Haag. Yes, I agree. You have got to duck the batons that are thrown at you. Yes. They don't actually pop up as much in this level as well. So this level, perfectly fine. 
perfectly fine level. First two levels could get in the app, can get in the bin. Oh my god. Oh! Let's go! That's good. We've got half energy there. It's a potential we could make it through in the next level. I, I forget what item we need for this level. Uh, I think it's the military base now. This is the penultimate level. Oh, was Tim Dalton in the Toy Story films, the later ones? Oh, right. Yes, he was in Flash Gordon as well, Simon. Yes, uh, the guy in green. What's his name? Prince. Prince something or other in um, uh, Flash Gordon. He was also in The Rocketeer as well. Played the villain in The Rocketeer. Oh, Jolly Boy said it as well. Jolly Boy beat me to it. Yes, yes. I think it might be the cigarette, but I don't know. Hang, did I take a snappy here? Uh... Just use the wall for PPK. Again, it's that crap again for the first two levels. Prince Baron, that's it. Well, well, well played, well remembered. Did you ever complete this as a kid? No, Tazong, no I did not. Oh, that's a bad start because I took two, two of his knives to the head there. Come on, come on. I've got one life left. Come on. Shaka. Last life. I think it's explosive cigarettes, but I, I, I just end up killing this guy with a wall for PPK. I'll try the cigarettes. It might end up killing me though. Oh, I, I only get one cigarette. Oh no, this is bad. I'm gonna have to reload. So it's not that. Probably rocket launcher. GG. You're better off the wall for PPK. Damn it! Took so much energy off me there. Oh! Oh! I couldn't jump. Oh no! Yes! There we go. Whitaker's house, last level. Pass. Pass. Bazooka! We did it! We have beaten the living daylights. Congratulations, you have killed Whitaker, the Prime Minister. Thanks you! <laughs> And that's all you get for your troubles there. <laughs> there we go. G to the G. <laughs> what a lame game. Thank you for the GG, guys. Yeah, I agree with you, OSG. There are certain levels that are not too bad. Uh, fighting the, the guy with the milk bottles outside the mansion, the helicopter blowing, blowing up around you. Not bad. And the factory level where you're dodging pipes and things thrown at your head. Okay. Okay. Then you've got the crossbow with the guy with the balloons. Yeah, okay, okay, that's alright. And the jump across the rooftops of the, uh, the police, that's pretty good. But the first level, uh, Gibraltar, the second level outside the uh, theatre, the level of the military base can all get in the bin. So, again, six and a half out of ten, maybe seven, oh, I don't know. 
Six and a half out of ten from me. What, we, what, what, what would you score this game then, guys? There are moments where it shows it could be a decent blasting, blast em up in a way, with a bit of thought behind it. You have to choose the right weapon and be very precise of your shots and be aware of other things. But like, my God, if you shoot one of the bad guys in the background, they should just stay down. Otherwise, it's just a run fest from like run from left to right for about three or four of the levels. Three out of ten, generous. Okay. This one, my was G. Two out of ten from Retro Lane for full price game. Mmm. It's full price. It's fairly early days, though. To be fair, for 1987, this is better than a lot of film licenses that were out then. It was only after this that we started to get Robocop and Platoon and, uh, you know, movie licenses were suddenly getting very, very good. Uh, so the scores go up. FC Den Hop is 7, Retro Limit 2, uh, Robin Hook is 6, Darren enjoyed that. Okay, cool. Bonnie Bear 5, Darren C a 5, uh, yeah. Darren Corner, 5.43 out of 10. Crazy Ball, a 5 out of 10. Zebra, a 4 out of 10. We go to the list of games that were one change from doubling their score. Exactly, exactly. Nightwolf Games gives it a 6. And Main Hay says 0.07, 007 out of 0.10. I think if you play the first stages for score, it might be fun. Yep, yeah, yeah. I think you saw me in the first attempt showing you it. I was just stood there shooting people. It's right, the problem is the cursor, the cursor, the crosshairs, kind of moves in chunks. It doesn't move pixel perfect smoothly across the screen, like Operation Wolf does or something like that. Mm, yeah. So it makes tar targeting hard in the first place. Oh, God, this music's annoying me now. Let's get off that. Uh, 4 out of 10 from Mansion, aside from the graphics and music, it's just tedious looking. Um, that's a fair point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Boy gives it a 6 as well. Uh... They're just... <laughs> Paul talking to Brian there. You'll take that... Just got that little bopper. It's 3p cheaper than Audi and tasted it too. All that 3 pence difference. <laughs> um, Aliens wants a word of you for about 1987 licenses. Fair point, Arnie. Fair point. Yes. Uh, but this came out alongside it, let's just say. Alongside. The movie licenses before, if you think about them, Miami Vice, Knight Rider. Oh, that's not really a movie license. Um, that Rambo game. Uh, what other movies came out? I'm looking at my shelf. Early day. Uh, early movie licenses. Uh, crap. I can't think now. Um, wasn't a huge number of them, but most of them were crap. Friday the 13th, the game. That's one. That was crap. Yeah. Short circuit. Is that 87 or 88? It's going to be around about the same time. So, yeah, that wasn't bad. That first level just is so long complicated to work out. Howard the Duck. That was 86, I think. Back to the Future. Back to the Future, the first game. That was bloody terrible. Awful. Awful. I wish Revenge of the Nerds got a computer game. I love that movie. The uh, thing is, I wouldn't judge a film licensed game against other film licensed games. I'd judge them against other games of the same game genre. That's fine. I'm just saying that, like, uh, I think when it comes to, if you get, when it comes to a film licensed game, the company and the team behind it, we should pay more care and attention to it because it's a big license. But uh, Predator, again, around about the same time, that was 87, I think. Oh, it could have come out 88. Johnny, I don't, can't remember. I can't be asked checking, and but uh, yeah, good, uh, good, uh, good suggestion. Right, um, should we get on the next game then? Yeah, I think we should. I don't think I need a break for this one, so uh, it's time for our next Bond game. Let's do this. It's time. 
Christmas 1988, this was the next game I got given as a Christmas present, and uh, I was like, ooh, I didn't know this was out as a computer game. It really surprised me because it's an old Bond movie, of course. Roger Moore's first movie. I do love Live and Let Die. There are bits in Live and Let Die that drag and have not aged well. But in the right places, um, it's brilliant, Live and Let Die. It's, got a, it's the first Bond movie that kind of had a spooky atmosphere to it, all that voodoo stuff at the start and then later on in the movie. I think, that, I think if they spent more time, uh, if they spent more time developing, uh, and more time spent in like the on that island, that would have been more, more of a fun movie, in my opinion. But anyway, but uh, the one standout f section in the movie was the uh, speedboat chase just before like the final third of the movie or whatever the final section on the island and it was quite a spectacular boat chase at the time oh i got a cracked version never mind and well they've just focused on that but anyway this didn't really originally start off as a bond game no i think most of you should know this this started off as um a game called aqua blast that Domark were developing. It's like a speedboat chasey thing uh, with, uh, you know, shooty stuff and things exploding and all that. It was quite James Bond esque anyway. So they took that and went, like, nah, we're slapping a James Bond license on this. Oh, we could do Live and Let Die. Perfect. Don't you worry, Retro Bus. We can jump in the AMS boat if you want. Just wait for this to load up. Like the music here. I might have seen this film. Voodoo and the Chase sounds uh, vaguely familiar. Very memorable, yes. Yeah, it just sounds like you have then, Tom. Movie still has one of the most kick ass title songs. Totally agree, Crazy Board. Probably my favourite Bond theme Live and Let Die by um, Wings, Paul McCartney and Wings, wasn't it? And then later, excellently covered by Guns N' Roses. Boily Bear, you're right. It's Buggy Boy in the water. Brian, I quite like Platoon as well. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit wonky in places, but like it's got you got a lot of bang for your book and lots of different levels in Platoon. It was like Ocean's First. Um, let's take scenes from the movie and make lots of different levels and gameplay types types based around that. It's their first like real thing like that. So I have a lot of love for Platoon. I know OSG does as well. I just need to uh, blow my nose, guys. One sec. But yes, we get the return of Roger Moore here. <laughs> right. Uh, looks like a space shooter. It does with the flashing lights. It's supposed to be like the, he the, the special heads up thing in the in the speedboat that Q's designs. But um, James Bond actually just nicks the, someone else's speedboat in it. Nothing to do with Q. Anyway. Right. Let's crack on. You can do a practice course. North Pole exercise, Sahara Desert exercise, just to add a bit of extra content to the game. But we are just going to jump straight to the final mission, which is the New or Orleans, Orleans mission. Sorry. And guys, if you haven't already, if you've been enjoying the stream and me beating the games tonight, give us a like and a thumbs up. I'd very, very, very much appreciate it if you haven't done it so far. Live and let honk. <laughs> Here we go. Find and destroy Mr. Big's drug processing plant. Right, let's just take a snapshot here very quickly. Uh, live and let die start. Let's call it that. And I think, guys, I think we can get into the AMS boat for this one. What do you reckon? Mm, yeah, of course we can. To the AMS boat! Alright, there we go. Thankfully, it's a nice speedboat. Very much like live and let die is one here, actually. Hey, Mr. Lucas Rainford, just in time for some live and let zive. I like that re retro bust. Thank you. Uh, let's put some Bond music on. Uh, let's put... Uh, one second, I just need to hide some bits and bobs in my software here.
Boom, one second, guys. Yeah, Lord Sugar's in the Am's boat with me. Right, okay, I think we're sorted out. I agree that music's not too... Is it too quiet or too loud? Let me know. If it's just right, cool. That's cool. And off we go. Now, I think... Now, there's no music in game, which is why I've just added my own here. This is... You can jump off there and ah, shoot the planes out of the air. Is the music just right, guys? It's like subtly in the background. That'll do. That was Q and his plane there. Sometimes the helicopters are not Q's, Q's, sorry, Q and his helicopter there. And sometimes the helicopters are not Q. Uh-oh. Awesome. It's Boogie Boat. It's by the, yes, so this is basically by the same coder and team who did Boogie Boat on the Amstrad. That was not Q, so we're... Whoa! And you have to use the missiles to blow up the gates. And then you move to the next level. So I'm on stage two. I think there's five or six stages. I can't remember now. And I think this actually moves a little bit faster than Buggy Boy. My chicken not raw. How are you doing, my friend? I love this as well. I played the heck out of this as a kid. One of my favourite Christmas presents of all time. Oh, I should have gone to the... Oh no, I'm on the right. I'm on the right one. Crash there. Music is fine. He's probably up to no good, Retro on Limb. That naughty Lord Sugar. Yeah, he's suddenly having a good, a good old uh, vibrate in the Ams boat there. Ah, I missed the. It's so essential. That you pick up those fuel, um, the orange fuel thingies. Don't always take the jumps as well. Because you often end up going straight into a rock or something. They, put a, they deliberately place a rock after a jump. How you doing, my chicken dot raw? It is damn good to see you, my friends. I hope you've been keeping well. It has got a nice sense of speed about it. Yes, I agree. We want to stick to the right. Oh, oh, that was close. Cool. Don't be afraid to slow down. Cool. To get on to stage three here. This is damn good fun. I think this is the best bomb game so far by a country mile. And it's telling that it, this didn't start off as a bomb game. And it ends up being the better game. Right, I'm going to pause in a second to catch up the chat. I tell you what, I'll get to this end of this level and I'll catch up with the chat straight after this level. So I'm in focus focus mode here. And I want to go to bed at a reasonable time because we've still got two more games after this one to play and beat. So, uh... Hey, Lewis. Welcome back, Lou. I can see you there in the chat. Not worth going for that fuel there. It was probably going to get me killed. Oh, I went to the right. I went to the correct lane, but I missed my shot there. And he got caught out there. Oh yeah, you can shoot out the front of your boats. By the way. Okay, good. Make good progress. Oh. Yeah, 
look at my few. Oh, there's a submarine here for some bizarre reason. <laughs> Pretty much every one you jump off there is going to get you crashed into a rock and blown up, so never mind. <sighs> Mr. Fuel there. That's okay. That was close. That was close. But we made it. On to stage four. Let's just pause it there. I'm going to catch up the chat there. Oh, you've been lurking, have you, Lewis? Let me just catch up the chat there properly. But yes, I like the I like that buggy boat. Yeah, it's buggy boy, but on the on the river. Uh, and he's a great white thin following the boat. That's a good idea, Brian. Maybe we could add that in one day. I work with a toxic chemical called AMCAT. Do you really, Brian? <laughs> good lord. Well, I hope the AMCAT doesn't hear that. Um, this is much better than the first two games already. Absolutely, Johnny Boy. Absolutely. Had you not played this before, Johnny Boy, or seen this? I'm not sure I've seen if he could overclock the CPC by putting a giant fan on it. Okay, Mame Hayes. But uh, Lucas, a buggy boy in a brook. <laughs> What's wrong with the boat, Kev Hal? It's a bit, it's a bit shaky. I can't even hear the music at all. Right. Okay. I will turn the background music just up, a, up a touch. It's so hard. I've got like um, audio monitoring. And it shows it at the same level as where my normal background music is. But because of the frequencies, I guess it just doesn't pop out as much. I've turned it up slightly for you, OSG. Thank you. Thank you, dude. But also means you're holding Lord Sugar's joystick. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. All good there? Chicken not raw? Excellent. It's good to see you, mate. Uh... Oh, is it only coming out one channel? He says, oh, she says, oh, I can now. Put the other earphone in. Right, I'll put it down just a slightly. There. Uh, oh, you only had one ear, right, one headphone in. Right, gotcha. Uh, it's a shame that this uh, Tatsumi didn't rework the arcade buggy boy into this. Would have been fun. Yes, that would have been awesome, as Mikey says there. Uh, I really take a by the train with like the cliffs, canals, tunnels, and you can tell where what they are. Exactly, exactly. The graphics are done really well here. I like the uh, horizon that moves when you go around the bend as well. That's a nice touch. Oily Bear already giving this a score of 9 out of 10. Blimey. Uh, Bourbon Decay, welcome to the stream as well. This is nice scrolling. Yep, it's got a good sense of speed, this. It's more sprite scaling, isn't it, than scrolling here. Apart from the uh, background that sort of scrolls left and right. But yeah. It's all very smooth and very well, well, well made. Uh, not, uh, not for a long time, bud. It's great. Oh, okay, mate. Give it, a, give it a play at the, this weekend. I think the specy version plays very similar. Right. Let me know if the music is too loud now. Ah, I need this because I need to replace my missiles. Right, got it. No! Zai, come on. Right, I've got to be super careful now. Oh, I just missed it, damn it. That would have set me up on this level. Good. No! Idiot! I thought I thought I'd go for it then. That was a bad mistake. I went the wrong way. There's gonna be a rock here. But I was going fast enough to skip past that second rock so I didn't crash. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Idiot. 
Yes! We're back in it, boys and girls. We're... Yes! Okay, we're good. We're good. I missed that one. Sod it. I probably would have ended up crashing into those rocks straight after it, so... That's good. Getting a bit worried there. I nearly missed that pick up there. Oh, I think we're coming up. This might be the final stage. As long as I got the fuel there, I wasted a bit of it. Crashing, but hey ho. Oh! <laughs> Ian Fleming has donated one pound. If only Cypher play the music from the on the Commodore 6 in the background while playing this, 6 out of 10. I reckon if only Zypho played the music from Eliminator on the Commodore 64 in the background <laughs> while playing this. Six tenths. Uh, hang on, where's my music gone? Thank you. Um, I'm guessing that was Man Shovel. Is that you, Man Shovel? I think that was. Thank you, Man Shovel, aka Ian Fleming, for the one pound there. Let's give him some bananas in the chat there. Because the, the Illuminator music was a dead giveaway there. You're obsessed with that music. That was literally the best thing about that Commodore 64 game, Eliminator, the music, actually. But, um... <laughs> but you only think the game's a 6 out of 10. That's interesting. I thought I think people are going to score this one higher than 6. I am. I certainly am. Ian Fleming would have said wiles. Probably true. Thank you, Man Shovel. You rock, dude, as always. Oh, he's Retro Bait here. Did I miss Retro Bait popping in? Hang on. Hey, Retro Bait. Sorry if I mi sorry I missed you there. Uh, I was just starting at the last level there. Welcome, Retro Bait. How you doing, my friend? Hope you enjoyed a bit. Hope you enjoyed a bit of Bond here. Damn it! I died immediately after. That's Mad Shovel's fault. <laughs> this one. How you doing Retro Bait? It's good to see you my friend. Wasn't really worth it shooting that down that plane. Damn it. I got the right way. Oh no. Did I go the right way? Oh there's one rock down that path rather than two on the other one. I guess so. He wanted the second jump there. Awesome. I do like the tunnels. That's nicely done. Nicely done. No! I shot my own fuel there and then died anyway. That's an enemy helicopter. I could have destroyed the points. Never mind. We don't care about point scoring here. Not normally anyway. <laughs> oh! I'm surprised I survived there. Oh! Here we go. This is the last bit of the game. Have we got enough fuel? Gonna dodge these bombs here. We're gonna jump off a lot. Oh, missed the log. We're gonna jump off a log here. Now! Yes! Let's go! Mission over. Mission completed successfully. 
Now let's have some GG's in the chat there. Congratulations, you are a super spy. And I'm only fourth in the table there. Good lord. How did people get... How did they get more score than me? We get a little jingle here as well. Let's pop out the ammo spray. <laughs> Mission over, your award is this crappy end screen. I know, that is disappointing. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Thank you. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I really did. Right. Um, okay. Right, I'm just going to get another drink from the fridge. Whilst I'm doing that. Please um, put some scores out of 10 for Live and Let Die on the Amstrad. Screw it, I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. I love that. Bear in mind, there are, I think there's three other levels that you can play on as well. There is more content. One's in the Arctic, one's in the D Sahara Desert, and there's a training mission as well, which is a bit short. The two and a half extra levels of that as well. So there's other, there's replayability in this one as well. And after all this time, it's still, proves a challenge as well right I'll be right back in like 30 seconds guys enjoy and let us know what you'd score this game out of 10 Boys and girls, it's time for License to Kill, another Dalton game. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the scores for the last one there. So let's have a look. 9 out of 10, 7.5 from Robin, sorry, the 9 from FC Den Haag. OSG an 8 out of 10, cool, 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 cool. Um, Crazy Borg a 9, Bippy Stopper an 8.5, Brian an 8.5, Johnny Boy an 8, Lucas a 78%, Darren Connor 7.1. Welcome back, Jimmy! You've missed, I don't know which ones you missed. We just said Live and Let Die. Before that was uh, The Living Daylight. And the first game tonight was A View to a Kill. Uh, Grace Box says the game is a simple concept, very well executed, better than several different scenes or rather mediocre. Exactly. Probably better that it start, start, started off as not a Bond Gomet game originally. Right, 9 out of 10 for Retro Lim. Paul gives in 8 to Tall Paul, a 7. There we go. It's a license to kill. My hopes went high for this game when I bought it from the shops with my own pocket money. 
I've got a giant box of this bloody game, actually. Hang on. Where's it on my shelf? Um, I, I really like the movie. Um, initially... Actually, actually, no. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me just top that music there. Let's get the game up because it's actually got some title screen music. And I'll, I'm going to get my box down from the shelf. Hopefully. I'll just turn that down a touch. I mean, look at the size of this plastic box for license to kill. Absolutely massive. And, and it doesn't fit very well in the case either. Look, when you open it up and it's like, ugh. And you have to sort of slide it in and yeah. But there is a reversible cover on it. So if you want different box art, you've got that one you can use as well. There you go. Yeah, now I've now got to work out how to close this without wrecking the um, cover. A uh, bit cheaply done, I have to say. But there you go. Absolutely massive. There's also like a normal, regular dual, dual play size version of this as well. I've got both. That's the disc one, and I've got the tape one and the smaller dual case. But um, nice big box though, bloody hell. It's like a Neo Geo cassette. Yeah, FC Dead Hog. I've been gone half an hour, so you probably did you catch living daylight at the start of that. Oh, okay, Darren Connor, take care, my friend. Nice to have you here with us again. As we're at five thirty, you might regret to stay up so late. Oh, yikes! Yeah, you're like four hours sleep or something. Oh no, maybe five hours. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. You'll be right. Take care, Darren. Good night, dudes. So, this one. This game, I was pleasantly surprised by. Okay, we don't need to redefine keys, and we'll just crack on into it. The problem with this game is it's quite short, and I'll say I'm going to say easy. If I say that though, I know it's going to curse me, and I'm going to die and not finish the game. But hey, I actually quite enjoy this one. I just wish there was more levels to it. I might give you guys a break for the Bond music here for a bit because it's got lots of nice shooty sound effects on it. So, so Bond is in the helicopter and he's chasing down Sanchez's Jeep. The evil Sanchez. I'm going to get some speed up here. You've got to watch your altitude and obviously other, other bullets from other things. You've got to blow up this jeep before it reaches the end, and you can blow it up quite early. So now, all you need to do is just make it to the end of the level. Without crashing into buildings and stuff like that. Um, it's not the smoothest scrolling in the world, but I, it's acceptable. But lovely, colourful graphics. I like the helicopter sprite with the animated uh, blades there, that's cool. And I think we're right at the end of the level now. There you go, first level done. Now we're, we're playing Bond on foot here. Now, what did we all think to License to Kill? Has everyone seen License to Kill? Anyone not seen it? Uh, I remember it was like the first Bond that was kind of like... Parents started... I remember parents were like, Oh, not sure if they take, should take little Jimmy and Bobby to see it because it's quite violent. It was like a harsher tone to the movie. I liked it. My mum absolutely hated... Well, I think she liked bits of it. But it was like the first Bond movie I remember going to cinema with my mum and she just not liking it at all. But this Bond movie kind of was a little bit of a flop at the time for a Bond movie anyway. Which probably didn't help Dalton getting his third movie. Uh, because I don't know what happened, but they didn't really promote it very well. In America anyway. The, the, um, the movie company really dropped the ball with promoting it. But it was a top year and summer for movies. So we're talking 1989. So that year, 1980, 1989, that was like the year of Batman anyway. You had Batman the movie coming out. There was Lethal Weapon 2. Uh, there was 
Oh crap, what else was there? I'm thinking Untouchables, but it wasn't Untouchables, that was 87. Uh, Back to the Future Part 2. So in that summer, you had all those j massive blockbusters. What a year for movies. And Ghostbusters 2. So 1989, you had Ghostbusters 2, Lethal Weapon 2, Back to the Future Part 2, uh, Batman. Every everywhere was just Batman crazy. The Batman stickers, posters, promotions, everywhere you went. And, and then in that comes the new Bond movie as well. And it didn't fare as well. Which is a shame because I really like License to Kill uh, as a movie. Um, I like... I like. I think Dalton was even better in License to Kill than he was in uh, Living Daylights as well. Uh, and he also has some great set pieces. It's always rewatchable, License to Kill. It's the first time Bond goes off on his own like revenge mission as well. So it was great. And yes, you can blow up stuff on this level there, like uh, the crates there. I'm just going to pause it there for a second. Um, but yeah. Um, I really enjoyed this game, but I feel it was a bit short, says Brian. Yes, that's my same feelings as well. But what a year for movies. Can you name a better year for movies for 1989? I mean, 84, you had Ghostbusters. 86, Aliens. Those are like what they want. But like 89 had Bad Feature Part 2. Lethal Weapon 2, which is the best of the Lethal Weapon movies by a mile. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> Man. And of course, License to Kill. What a year. And of course, Batman. But I, I actually really like this level on this game. Um, it's kind of, it's a bit can foddery, isn't it? Before cannon fodder existed. I like it. I like it. They should have done more levels like this one. Just reuse the game engine. However they coded it. Added in a few more of these levels. And this would have been a great bomb game. And maybe a final battle against Sanchez. Just to top things off with a nice ending. I would have given this like 9.5 out of 10. I'm taking a little bit too long. I like, oh, ow. Got my damage meter there at the bottom. That won't go through, so we gotta do him like that. Gonna make some, make a gap it. Shame there's no music in the game now. There are some levels that do have music in game. Got him. So I'm taking like cheeky pot shots from a while, a while away there. Ow. There's a big hitbox around you though for bullets. That's the only problem. Running out of time. It says a bonus meter, but that is actually a timer ticking down for this level. Got him. So yeah, hold down the fire button to rotate your uh, crosshairs around. There you go. Um. And we did it. And this level, we're dangling from the bottom of the helicopter. And we've got to latch on to Sanchez's plane to stop him escaping. This is all like the first like 10 minutes of the movie. Got him. There you go. And we've now like basically gone fishing for aeroplanes. If anyone's seen the, not seen the opening of this movie, this doesn't make much sense. But Bond is dangling down from the helicopter from a rope. He ties a rope around the, 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 the tail of the ship and uh, he's rescued. Uh, sorry, he's uh, captured the evil hedge, ev evil villain Sanchez. By this point in the movie, he, ha Sanchez has escaped. Damn it. I need to kill more frogmen. Now Bond is like, oh, it's just about halfway through the movie. If he fires out, you get a harpoon from one of the um, frogmen there. 
And if you fire the harpoon and it hits the ship's uh, side, the left or right hand side of the ship, of the plane, sorry, that's taking off. It's a water, it's a water plane. It's actually quite an easy level, this one, as well. Oh, then he died there. And you got to climb up there, pull yourself up the rope. You sort of like water skiing behind the aeroplane here. If anyone, if no one remembers the scene of the movie. Get closer and closer. Got it. There you go. So we get a little bit of mu uh, music there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the final level of the game. Believe it or not. Alright, what we need to do here. If we could just get past the first tanker. You sort of... Oh, man, this is hard to do. <sighs> I took a lot of damage there, but we needed to get up to top speed. We've got, and so this is right at the end of the movie now. We've, we've stolen one of the tankers and Sanchez's base has blown up. Sanchez is in the last tanker. You've got to catch up to him and ram him off the road. Damn it, I've taken a lot of damage. I might actually die and need, I need to use a, a, a life here. Sugar. Then just get past one. Damn! I boxed it up. I normally do this level without dying as well. That's the annoying thing. Son of a bitch! I'll catch up the chat properly after this. Karate Kid Part 3 that year. I don't remember that being very good, that one. Oh, that's how you do it! Right, I remember now. Just lure him down the bottom. Lure him down the screen. Don't pull. Don't push any brakes too hard, or you'll drop your speed. You want to maintain this level of speed, like this, and just feathering the down button or brakes, and then we zoom past like that, and make sure it's like your back end of the of the truck is bashing into the opponent's truck. There you go. I think there's only one more to go there. Oh, Bippy Stopper, how you doing, Bippy Stopper? Good to see you. All right, here we go. I think this is the last one. I think it's the last one. Oh no, there's one more, there's one more. Is this why there's no petrol? Yes! <laughs> Careful, Zypher, our local Tesco's already charging 162 per litre. Oh, per litre. Oh, it's bloody expensive. But I've seen most of the petrol stations I've seen in Nottingham. I have got fuel in now, at least. Oh, you don't get all the music there. That's a shame. And then uh, it just goes back to this. Anyway, so I I I've got the music for that. It's You Only Live Twice. I There you go. I'll play it for you. I managed to uh, rip it from the game earlier. There we go. That is License to Kill beaten. A really nicely well produced game. Good variety in levels. Lovely graphics. Great jingles and music. Sound effects are good. Everything's programmed very well. It's just way too short. Too easy. That's a shame. Because this, this could have easily been the best Bond game. Easily. All they, could have, all they needed to do was maybe add in another of those sort of cannon foddery shooter levels. Maybe another level of like the helicopter one. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Um, and this has been great. But unfortunately, it's just too short and too easy. It's a decent Bond game now. We've got a decent Bond license and a decent Bond game like Live and Let Die. So I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's maybe been a little bit generous. But um, yeah. What score out of 10 would you guys give this one? Um, and sorry if I missed anyone's messages. Don't forget Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Holy crap! Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade in 1989. I knew I'd forgotten something, Retro Post. So, in 1989, let's go this again. Not only did you have license to kill out, it really kind of suffered against those big movies. In 1989, you had Batman the movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Lethal Weapon 2, Ghostbusters 2, Back to the Future Part 2. There must have been more big movies that year. What a year for movies. Again, can anyone think of a better year for movies than 1989? I'd love to know. Right, I'm going to have a very, very quick break, guys. Uh, I just need some nips to the loo and give my eyes a quick rest. Let me know your scores out of 10 uh, for this one. Let me know if you can think of a better year than 1989 for movies. Take care, tall Paul. Nice to see you again, my friend. And coming up next... The Spy Who Loved Me. Our last game tonight. There we go. Right, guys. I'll be back with you. Um, I'll be back with you in like about one to two minutes tops. Okay, okay, guys. I'll let you enjoy the music here. All right. Catch you back in a sec. I don't know if this is worse than the Vita Kid or not, but what a, a 
uh, a crap note to end on the uh, Bond games on the uh, Amstrad. The Spy Who Loved Me, Dom Ogg, just milking that license for all it can. Choosing one of the best Bond films of all time, though. But only choosing, like, basically, like, two parts of the movie. So this is basically a bad Spy Hunter clone, essentially. Oh. Campus Bond ever. <laughs> hey, Simon, welcome back. How you doing, mate? How's work going? Uh, let's just check the scores again for, um, uh, License to Kill. So people scored it. Brian gives it a, gave, um, License to Kill an 8 out of 10. Tazong a 7. Robin Hook an 8 out of 10. Retro and Lim, 8 out of 10. Jimmy an 8. Vicky Stopper an 8. Uh, Paul Henderson an 8. License to print money by taking kids' pocket money. Yes, I was G. Uh, Crazy Borg an 8, Man Shovel an 8 out of 20. So is that a 4 out of 10? Oh no, it's a mistake because then you put 8 out of 10 afterwards. Um, let's, uh, oh, actually, let's put some other music on just very quickly. Uh, we've got time now. Oh no. Actually, I didn't mean to play that one. Let's put on... That song, okay. The background. What did I get to? Man Shovel with his 8 out of 10 there. Uh, Lucas with a 76 percenter. There we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, 89 or 90. I think. I think 1990. I might be wrong. Because I remember Batman was one year, Turtles was the next in my head. What year did the Turtles movie come out, guys? Yeah, P break there, Kepal. Uh, OSC says, Back to the Future Part 2 was the first film I can ever remember that at the end they played the trailer for the next movie in the series. Yes! I know! What a great end to the film! Because I feel, I didn't really, I, I didn't know at the time, but they filmed them back to back. So, it was like, what a great way to end a movie and then get you excited for the next one, which came out the year later, didn't it? Or something. Yeah. I love Back to the Future Part 2. I know some people are a bit down on that one, but honestly, it's kind of the one I kind of gravitate. If I had to choose one of the three Back to the, Fe uh, Back to the Future movies to watch, which one would you pick, uh, Zai? I'd probably pick part two. I just love him, love them going into the future. And the hoverboards, the self-lacing Nikes. Oh, I want those self-lacing -la Nikes so badly. And the hover hoverboard. God, I dreamed of having a hoverboard. Look Who's Talking came out in 89 too. Yeah, it was like a rom-com, wasn't it? That I don't think anyone expected to do majorly big, but it did It did do really good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the guy, the spy who bought that for a dollar and got changed. Hey, tactical pirate Daz, prepare to be boarded. We've been raided by the pirate Daz. How you doing, matey? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Who is that Bond there? Oh yes, they couldn't get the license like uh, license rights to Roger Moore. So they made sort of a... It, who does he look like? He actually looks like another actor. He looks a bit like a cross between Roger Moore, Sam Neill and Dalton. And it's funny actually because Sam Neill very nearly um, got the part of James Bond back when uh, they were going to shoot uh, Octopussy. Then Roger Moore came back at the last minute. Uh, it's not meant to be a Lotus Spirit in the front, is it? Yes. That does not look like the Lotus at all. <laughs> I know. It's crap, isn't it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990. There you go. There. Right. So, have we... Uh, actually, I just need to wash my hands again, actually. One second, guys. Two seconds. Sorry about that. I, honestly, I did wash my hands after going to the toilet. It's just that on the way rushing back to the kitchen, I spilled a bit of my drink on my hand and it feels all sticky. So anyway, Roger Connery. It does maybe is a bit of, yeah, Connery in that. James Bond on the cover there. I don't know. Looks like Michael Barrymore. Looks like more like Dale Winton, actually. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get the spy who loved me up and get this last game out the way and done. 
I might be able to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Spy, you love me. There we go. No disc, which is face A. 128k version. Interesting. I can't remember if we get music in game. What's the thought on the flip side? I'm pause my music here. I think we get some in game title screen music. Yep, it's this one. He has the cheeks of Dalton. <laughs> Lucas. There's nothing worse than a sticky controller. That's right. Keep your, keep your joysticks nicely lubricated and clean. It kind of it does look a bit like Roger Moore, Man Shovel, yeah. But there's definitely deviations to not get sued by Roger Moore's estate or something. I was going to bed early, 4 a.m. <laughs> Career opportunities, 1991. What? What's that? What does that mean, Tall Paul? And with that, I'll say good night. Okay, Tall Paul. Good night, TP. Take care, my friend. Do you know what? It wasn't too bad on the Amiga and ST. I was Gene Lucas. Have you played Spy Love Me on the uh, Amiga? I mean, it's still down. It's still like a top-down racing game. That's like, well. You know, they were making them in the early 80s, so on the 16-bit Amiga, it feels a bit cheap. But it did play quite well, from what I remember. And on the Amiga and ST, you got extra levels where there was like a shooting gallery type thing inside the submarine. And it was like Operation Wolf style. And that's a bit completely missing on the 8-bit uh, versions, sadly. It's kind of good on the Amiga. It is good. All oh, right. I might have to check that out on Amiga stream on Twitch in the week then. Yeah, more levels on the 16 bit. Right, let's get this pile of crap on the road. What a, what a really lame title screen. And there wasn't even a loading screen. It's so lazy by Domark. So lazy already. Let's start the game. And here we go. This is it. Uh, I'll just take a snapshot here quickly. Spy who loved me one. There we go. Oh, what a shame this one. What a shame. Hey, Aaron Phillips. Good evening, Aaron Phillips. How you doing? God, I really hated this. I was so disappointed. I got this on uh, the Hit Squad budget label, so I wasn't too upset by it. I wasn't too upset by it because I paid only three or four quid or whatever and I got a Bond game and it was vaguely playable but it was like really disappointing um main was that main haze no better design to you also play Sly Spy Secret Agent so next week I'm thinking of doing Arcade to Amstrad because we all love that um series uh here I'm pretty much I just put some Bond music in the background um we all love that series but we could theme it around Bond and do the uh, James Bond style games and from the arcade. So yes, yeah, Sly Spy Secret Agent, uh, Rolling Thunder, Spy Hunter, Action Fighter, uh, Elevator Action, Bondish sort of thing. I'll get thinking about it. That's that's my kind of thoughts for next week. So you probably get it then. No bed for Zai sounds like a James Bond title. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Live and let Zai we had earlier as well. That was a good one. Whoever did that. The Zai who loved me. I just thought that. I just thought of that. The Zai who loved me. There we go. How's that car getting traction? Its wheels are off the back end. The back wheels are off the end of the pit. They are. You're right, OSG. Ah, absolutely. Oh, there is sound effects. I was about to say no sound. Oh my god, the steering is terrible. Fire button doesn't do anything. Oh, remember, we're going to collect these bloody Q tokens. Let's just load that up again. So I missed one at the start. 
And it's important you get the, the uh, Q tokens because it will save you having to repeat a massive section of a level later on. The Q tokens will allow you to drive into the Q truck. Not at all a rip off of Spy Hunter. And get weapons and stuff. Oh! Ziprow! <laughs> Ziprow! Ziprow! Thank you for the New Zealand $5 there. Thank you. Bananas in the chat for Z Prowl. Our beloved friend all over the way, all the way over in lovely New Zealand there. Let's see the bananas rain down for him. As he says, random thought, but in Dragon Slayer 2, level 7, the flashing squares are the order you move in in order to get to the end. Yes, that's right. I think that's right. It's a long time since I did Dragon's Lair 2 on a stream and played it, but the better of the two Dragon's Lair games. But uh, thank you, Zeeprow. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your bananas. What was that? So I spy with more Bond than the official Bond games. That's the thing as well. Yes. Yes. So, uh, talk about this. I thought I'd heard random 80s, 90s being thrown into the hat. Uh... I think we're talking about eight night movies in 1989, generally there, Tall Paul, if you missed that. Uh, oh, yeah, Aaron, sorry, he says, sorry about Chrissy Boy not working out, it's such a shame. I know, Chris Hutton was a manager of Nottingham Forest, or ex-manager. What a lovely bloke. But, man, he just stuck to the same tactics that just weren't working. Every match, it was the same thing, Aaron. And I was like, I missed it, we're all... I I'm, I'm more patient than most football fans. I'll be like, give a manager a, a year to two years and don't sack him after a few months, even if he's doing badly. Give him time to work the team. But man, like, you could tell, like, he's playing players out of their positions that they're normally best in and st sticking to this rather defensive, like, um, setup. And it just wasn't working. Every match, the same. He, like, he had no plan B. Aaron. I don't know if it was the same for you guys. Well, love, shame about him. Lovely bloke. Looks like Steve Cooper's doing a good job now. Anyway, I'll stop talking about football, guys. Sorry. Action Fighter is awesome. The Mass System. Yes, I think I've played that, and it's good, OSG. Yes. Uh, Zyfinger. Zy of a day. <laughs> I like it, guys. You only Zy once. I like that, yes. That photo looks like NES Back to the Future. Where are the hula, hula hoop girls? I... I do I? I look like the NES Back to the Future. Oh, this game looks like the NES Back to the Future. Yes, I see what you mean now, um, FC Den Haag. Yes. I know exactly what you mean now. It does a little. But your size only. <laughs> oh, Mad Shovel, you, we, you missed that. We already had Live and Let Zai. Um, who was it that said that? Someone said it right as we started playing Live and Let Die. I forgot who it was now, but GG's whoever that was. Zyfall. There you go. All those terrible Zy puns there or whatever I could have used on advertising the stream. God, this is dull. It's got really horrible controls. Honestly, the, the, that's the official Spy Hunter game, which is bug-ridden and not particularly brilliant. Which was released in 1985 is better than this. You can still get s some modicum of enjoyment. We, oh, actually, a small quantum of enjoyment out of this one. Not much, though. Oops. Be careful not to skid off the road there and off the bridge. By the way, there's no timer on this level. So you could drive as slow as a grandma on this. And it doesn't matter. All you're going to do is make sure you don't take any damage and crash. Right, I shall catch up with the chat in just a sec. Oh! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Jogstrad! 
Hello, we've got a late appearance from Mr. Chris McGilbray. Budget hello from Scotty Air. Huzzah, view to his eye. <laughs> Thank you, Jock Strad. Bananas in the chat. Get your nanas out for Chris. He does like, like a good nana ring. There you go. Thank you, Chris. How you doing, matey? Oh, you missed all the fun on the intros and stuff. Have a rewind of the stream and have a watch at the start. You might enjoy it. Um, there you go. Thank you. Uh, thank you, dude. How you doing, Chris? Hope, you, hope your week's been good. Uh, but yeah. Glad, uh, Brian says, no, uh, glad no one said Zypho never comes. We dodged a bullet away. <laughs> Golden Zy. Zion of a day. I think uh, OSG beat you to that one, Arnie. They got a license to snappy. <laughs> license to snappy. <laughs> I like that one. Zyraka. Golden Zy. I think someone beat you to that retro limb as well. On Her Majesty's Ewok service. Son of Red <laughs> Retro Hulk Buzz. God damn you. Oh, uh, uh, Jockstrat, you can have a... You could have a Roger Moore Ood for well to well, uh, There you go. Welcome, Jockstrad. Again. Uh, Zy failed to the tune of Zy to suck Skyfall. Yes, Mame Haze. Zy fall. Zy fail. Mm, I don't know if it quite works, but we could do something. We could do something. We could knock something up. The living Zy lights. Oh, God. Ewoks are forever, Sanji. <laughs> Son of Pirate Dad. All right, Jimmy, half of the bag as usual. All right, Jimmy, half of the bag as usual. Good stuff, Jockstrad. The spy who zied me. Yes, that works. I, I prefer the zy who the zy who loved me. There you go. Mission Possibles aren't bad either. What is that? To Lucas. All right. What's Lucas going on about? <laughs> right. At a, at a great wee horror night watching uh, Chapel Way and VHS 94. Are they any good? I'm no, I don't think I've seen either of them, Jockstrad. Are they highly recommended? Right, let's crack on. Bloody Ewok jokes. <gasps> let's try and get as much of these Q tokens as possible. We don't want to miss one because I don't want to have to try and have to repeat a bloody level later on. I've noticed I've not taken any damage yet. I hope I've not got like a cracked version of the game. I'm sure I was reading the original disc version. Oh, hang on. It's the trickiest part of the level so far. Waiting for it. Oh, the controls. The controls are so stodgy, guys. If you push left, you have to really hold it down. Absolutely tedious this game. That's good. I'm just taking a take a snappy here just in case of any screw ups. I don't I don't want to replay the whole bloody level again. <gasps> oh I missed a Q tag. Oh sod it, I don't care. Just get through the bloody thing. Oh, I missed a Q token. Oh, level two. That'll do. We missed about three, two or three Q tokens there. Oh, True Lies was a great movie. A nice sort of homage to James Bond, that one, by James Cameron, who always fancied directing a Bond movie. I loved um, True Lies. Especially the ending when he's like caught the missile and he's in the jump jet, Harriet jump jet. Goes, You're fired. <laughs> Fires him on the missile. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um... Never say Ewok again. Bloody hell, the Ewok jokes again. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Thought True Lies at the cinema. I would have loved to see that at the cinema. I had to wait till it came out on um, VHS in Blockbusters. Dr. Wookie. 
Zyhard. Like Spy Hard. I love Spy Hard. Even if it is a bit crap. I just love Leslie Nielsen. Oh, speedboat jumps here. Oh, I, oh, I can shoot things. I forgot. We actually get some enemies to shoot on this level now. Rather than like oncoming uh, pedestrian traffic. Oh yeah, follow the follow these. Oh, I am taking damage. I am taking damage, so we're not playing a cracked version of the game, which I was worried about. Oh, we didn't we didn't need to take that jump there. Level suppose it's I suppose this level's a little bit more fun. And there's no time limit, so you can go as slow as you want. That movie was right for a few sequels, mate. Can't believe they left it. True Lies. Yeah, I know. I think what it was, it's just bad timing. Because Arnie, uh, I think it was committed to a few, more, a couple more movies over the next two years. And then after that, he sort of retired from movies and went on his governor, governor's thing. Quest to become governor. And by that time, James Cameron had moved on to do um, Avatar, right? The timeline about timeline about right there. Moon of Endor, Raker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're scraping the barrel there now, Daz. <laughs> Johnny English. I've still yet to see that. I just, I don't. Oh, I was worried I'd hate it, and then I'd end up hating Rowan Atkinson. Is Johnny English actually funny, guys, or any good? Wait. Give me my Q token. Wait, sod off. That one was actually causing me a bit of trouble there. Take a snappy there, just in case. It's relevant as I just lost. Okay. <laughs> um, Two Lies is in development for a TV series. Really? Oh, guess how woke and crap it's going to be uh, since this whole brown bad brown man bad aspect is going against the whole Hollywood thing these days. Well, I probably would have like like maybe they wouldn't use a uh, terrace again. Uh, don't use the don't use the word woke. Oh, it just gets under my skin now, Jockstrad. Oh, that that word is just like its meaning has just all been lost now and just twisted. Ugh, I hate. It's all right. It's a little bugbear of mine. It's. I apologise. Oh no, I missed all the Q tokens, and I can't go backwards. Damn it. Never mind. Oh yes, of course, Avatar 2 and 3 are coming out from uh, James Cameron at last soon. Yes, I'm never on the skin. Yeah, it's just like uh, the, the word, it's just, it's just, just the word woke, it just makes me, oh, because some right bellends use it and it's like, uh, but different meanings as well, slightly different meanings. It's just like, oh, I think you get where I'm coming from. Oh, I think this is the end of the level. Oh, there you go. That wasn't too bad. Now, this level, this is one that might catch me out a little bit. Because you have to loop around it a couple of times and know where to turn off. You have to get enough Q tokens to purchase like a submarine conversion. Ow. Damn it. I just, I haven't got quite enough Q tokens yet. There's the Q truck waiting for me to get in. I need four more tokens, I think. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, oh no, it's 150 I needed anyway. I was nowhere near it. We also, oh, actually, we need the sub laser, eight way gun, and sub rear gun. And there's 75. 
sub rear gun. I don't think that's really needed. So we need 75 plus 150, 225 Q tokens at least. Bloody hell. This is why this level gets a bit tedious, but hey. It's the last game of the night. We're kind of near the last level anyway. After this, there's two... There's a um, jet bike le No. The Lotus sub-level. And then a jet bike level. And that's the end of the game. Uh, you watched the third Ghostbusters movie, not the lesbian version. No, don't. No, wait for it to come out the cinema retro on Liam. Don't, 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 don't go and spoil it for yourself. No, no, no. Well, the actual F was that jump sprite, yes. Yeah, and there's a lot of any woke talk in the uh, talk about actually wokeness and stuff in the chat because that, that could just get in, that could just end messy. It's slightly politically charged these days, anyway, isn't it? So. Yeah, I've got the to kill music back on here. So. When's uh, Ghostbusters 3 out, by the way? Anyone, does anybody know and remember? Look at the Q tokens. We've gone over 100 and it's reset to 04. Don't worry. You do have... What the? What the? You do have 106 tokens. Look, they just couldn't be asked on the counter at the bottom. I mean, just how crap is that? Oh, that's where you go off to turn into the sub, I think. That, that sprite is a rip-off from Spy Hunter, the Sidewinder car. Did you see that? The blue car there? The spikes coming out the wheels. They're, they're just so blatant about ripping off Spy Hunter. And the Q truck as well. November the 19th. F <laughs> FC Denhag. Are you E-Woke? Bloody hell, you're going to get him. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough now. No, no more d uh, W word talk. Exactly, Brian. Exactly. <laughs> to be fair, that was quite funny from FC Den Haag. Next month. Next month. New Christmas movie. I hope I would have seen the new bloody Bond movie by that time, though. Gotta find flipping babysitters. Yeah. 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 Oh, no! I missed a load of bloody tokens. Look at the freaking chat. Sorry, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Any more, uh, any more politicky talk and talk about the, the W word? Um, I will start deleting messages. Okay, all right. New topic, new topic of conversation, please. <laughs> Just in case, no one's falling out yet, but it could end up that way, couldn't it? Sometimes, so it's best to nip it in the bud. There's that sidewinder car from Spy Hunter. Complete bloody rip off. Let's stick this way. Want 125 tokens? We need a bloody 100 more or something. Oh, there's a helicopter now. Which you can just shoot with your missile, which also conveniently hits other vehicles. So it turns into a vertical missile. Nice. Yeah, lazy programming. I mean, to be fair... Oh, don't worry, I didn't die there. Basically, the road has wrapped around, but they were too lazy to do, like, code in a wraparound thing. So it just, like, stops, refreshes the screen, and starts you back at the level. So basically, you just, you just looped around. Right. Aaron Phillips likes this game. It's okay. It's okay, Aaron. It's it's a pig to control. It, it, it's poor, really, for a full price game. A, a budget game, like a knockoff Spy Hunter. Yeah, I would have gone, yeah, this is pretty decent for a budget, like, Spy Hunter. But this is a full price Bond license. 
I went deliberately slow there because I know there's a load of Q tokens here. There's no sense of urgency on this game because you're not playing against a timer or a clock. I'm gonna, I might skid off here. Get away. I could just drive like a grandma in a knackered old Skoda and just bob my way through the game. Thankfully, the next the next level, guys, after this is basically a, a shoot 'em up, a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up. Not a great vertically scrolling shoot 'em up, but at least you see some proper blasting action. Oh yeah, I could have gotten the I could have gotten the at the Ams car, couldn't I? All right, to the Ams car. I was too late doing this anyway. <laughs> Should have been in the Ams car earlier. You just deleted your whole rant there. Good man, Jockstad. Good man. You talk, did anyone see the Seville documentary? The BBC should be shut down immediately. <laughs> oh no. That's the next thing we generally avoid on stream is like pedo talk. Oh god. Oh, is that a tall pool? Hang on, who's off there? Not tall pool, it's Tactical Pirate. Good night, Tactical Pirate, Daz. <laughs> Happy sailing on the high seas, my friend. Good luck on your plundering and pillaging. Oh, I missed that Q token. Never mind. Right, 150. We need 75 more tokens. God, God help us. The Amston Martin. I like it. This is actually a Lotus we're in. So, uh, I don't know if it's the same version of the Lotus that Bond has. What's worried me is we've not seen an appearance of the Q truck. Where's the Q truck? <gasps> stop, stop, stop. Break, 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 break. You have to wait. Literally, this, the skid effect only lasts for like about two, three seconds. So if you break to a stop, you let the skid effect wear off, uh, and then you won't slide around. Why all the puddles? I know they're in Sardinia in, Sp in uh, is it Italy? I don't think it, it's not very rainy wherever wherever it is. Where's Sardinia? Is it? It's an, it, is it, is it on an island near Italy? Isn't it? God, I sound like a I sound really dumb, not knowing my geography. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Jogstrad. Yeah, yeah. I've got to watch what I say too. You never know if something comes to bite you in the ass and haunt you later on. Oh, interesting. As the level looped, I got my damage uh, meter restored. Right, there we go. I didn't notice that before. There's that Spy Hunter ripoff. <sighs> Helicopter. I was going to say, that's also a thing from Spy Hunter, but to be fair to the Bond movie, uh, to this game, Bond does get chased down by a helicopter in his uh, Lotus, and he does blow it up with a missile eventually, so we'll, 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 we will let the spy for love me off on that account here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's looped again. Let me take a save point here. You never know. Um, Sard Sardinia is on the boot. The island. Oh, so it is in Italy. Right, okay. Right, the Q truck should appear here. I think we should just buy the sub upgrade now anyway. There it is. Sub laser we haven't got. Sub eight way gun. So we need 43 tokens. It's 50. Right, okay. Uh, sorry guys, I think we need the laser. Otherwise we're going to struggle on the next level. So we've got to do another loop, I think. Hard. What? What? What happened to the car sprite there? Did you see that? 
I sort of turned dark blue or something. Oh, don't skid, don't skid, don't skid. Hey, it's Anapocalypse Zero here. Let me just catch up with the chat there quickly. That time I probably had, probably had a good read. Brian Hooper says, I only really studied geography if Judith Chalmers was ratting the plays. <laughs> oh, rating the plays. Oh, was she on a TV show going around? I, don't, I must have missed that, Brian. <laughs> Screen, uh, I must have passed me by back in the day. Uh, screenshots of videos can be used out of context to make uh, out look like whatever anyone wants. It is true. It is true. There's amazing things that can be done now. Like deep fakes and all that. Good Lord. Uh, An Apocalypse Zero. Here with the Nanas and Filth as always. How you doing, Anna? I'm doing all right. We're on our last game tonight. So we're nearly done with it, thank God. Uh, how's tricks, Anna? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be watching Sk Squid Game soon. Um, it's my next... Oh, oh my God. We actually took some damage for the first time here. Um, Squid Game is on my list to watch next. Oh, 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 oh. Was I on two wheels? Had I gone on my side? Oh, right, okay. I must have missed that, Aaron. It just looked a bit odd. I just took my eye off the screen for a second and suddenly I was this weird blue sprite. I have no idea why I just ran over there. That's a ramp, I know, of course, but what, whatever that was beforehand that exploded. Roadworks? A roadworks sign, maybe? I don't know. There was a car, a car sprite that glitched off the screen there. Did you all spot that? There's the Spy Hunter ripoff. And that car does not want to blow up. Off there with the tokens, 25. I think FC Den Hug was the only guy with camera at raves in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen his Facebook posts. Bless him. <laughs> FC Den Hog to OSG there. Old Star Gaming, you would nicely blend in that those 90s raves, bold and shiny tracksuit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. OSG, are you taking that as a compliment or an insult or somewhere in between? <laughs> Just made me laugh, that was all. Uh, I'll take a staffy here because I keep, I keep looking at the chat. Oh, I sided on the jump and it kind of did that. All right, I'll try, I'll try that next time on a jump just, to, just for lols. Oh my God, that took a lot of hits to kill. I hope that was an enemy car, not like a, just an innocent pedest uh, an innocent person driving on the road there. It's bloody Spy Hunter, isn't it? Yes. It is, Anna. Jogstrad, you naughty boy. You naughty, naughty, naughty boy. You can, have a, you can have a couple of dancing shuckers for that. <laughs> there the bananas rain down. <laughs> for jock strap. That naughty, naughty wee boy in Scotland. Don't give him a clip around the back of the head. <laughs> All right, that's the last mention of that bloody word. Um... <laughs> Of course I'm taking it as a compliment. It's from FC. Is that because you really love and respect FC Den Hog? Or are you worried that if you didn't take it as a compliment, you might not you? Or something like that. <laughs> OSG. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jolie, welcome to the stream. I I'm sorry if I missed you in the chat earlier. Welcome, Jolie. Thank you for the bananas there to Jockstrad. Thank you everyone else there as well for the bananas. 
Uh, what Russian Lim hasn't told me, says Mame Hayes, is that he's sharing the bed with me and my other half now. Is he? I thought he was going to visit Mrs. This is the play Blackpool in the Norbrek. Strange things are afoot at the Norbrek. You still have an, a Kappa and an LS tracksuit for the 90s. <laughs> really? Oh, God. Oh, no. Good for you. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Anna says you should take an inflatable doll to the Norbrek. I think you find in those hotel rooms at the Norbrek, there's, there's often quite a few sex toys left behind. There's that famous photo on uh, TripAdvisor. Someone's left. Oh, or was it um, Ashens or Nostalgia Nerd found it or something on their stay? Under their bed was like lube and like cock rings and all sorts. Vibrating ones. That was in their room. Or it might have been a photo they found on TripAdvisor review site. So, yeah, you can find plenty of sex toy stuff at the door, Breck. Don't need to take your own. Is that your fault, Retro and Lim? <gasps> I had two Q tokens to get! Oh! Oh, I did. It's automatically taking me to the next level. What the fart? All right. We would uh, we were going around to get Q tokens to get the laser, but it's automatically just sh shoved me onto the next level. So, okay, fair enough. I want to get to bed soon anyway. Actually, it's not too late for me. It's only half one. Oh, well, we got the eight-way laser anyway, so. Which has a pathetic reach to it. Good Lord. Oh no, I shot a power-up. Okay, so you can shoot the power-ups. Duly noted. Fart. The game has got bored of itself, yes. What does L do? L replenishes that. I don't know what T does. And I don't know what F does. Oh my god, you can actually shoot the book. You can actually shoot their bullets. That's interesting. Oh, R is laser. Sweet. Good job I picked up the laser there, but I'm only on I'm half energy now. I took a snappy there. We've lost our eight-way gun, so you can't have both. Chugger. I lost a huge chunk of energy. Oh, I think that was a bad show, James. God damn it. I think, I think that was energy restore pickup that appeared. Cheers again, Chris, for that dono, mate. Appreciate it, even if you are a naughty boy. F pays respects. Don't! I was trying so hard not to shoot it there. Oh, this took me back to the start of the level. That's interesting. Okay. No! What does F do? Oh, that's crap. It's, it's, it changes the gun to forward and back shooting. That's what F does. But F can F off. Off the laser. Ha <laughs> ha, wreck. I don't know if this gun ever runs out, but I'm going to spam. Oh, let's take a break there, a second there. Ewoks charging the laser, <laughs> son of... Oh, why am I in the... Um... I'm still in the AMS car. I should come out the AMS car because we're not underwater anymore. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't want that on. We don't want that on. Right, okay. <laughs> um, 
Right, let's have a look then. Sign up, been pretty tired for the past couple of hours. I'm probably not feeling comfortable uh, being here at this time. Okay, Rainer, sorry to hear that, Rainer. Um, if you want to tell me what the issue is, let me know because I always try and uh, make sure people uh, are comfortable and happy here uh, in a positive environment. So let me know if I can help or adjust something or whatever. Take, if you are off, take care, Rainer. Good night and have a good weekend. Um, sorry, I missed you. Oh, well, that was a while ago, Rainer posted that. Oops, I might have missed her then. Never mind. Um, I used to like this game. Now it's the Great Betrayer, says Anna. I just... Uh... I was... When I first bought this, I was disappointed. Then I went through years of deciding I absolutely hated it. Now playing it now, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna... We're gonna... Tell you what. Yeah, scores in the chat so far. The Spy Who Loved Me. <laughs> what would you give this? I'll probably give this a 6 out of 10. I prefer a view to a kill to this, basically. There's more to it in a view to a kill. Um, what are those things being shot? I think they're underwater divers. You know they got on those... You can uh, hold on to these things that propel you underwater. I think that's what they're on, Jolie. But yeah, the sprites are a bit crap. Um, uh, the Norbrook's having a lick of paint at the moment. Two-tone grey. <laughs> Is it really being painted? Oh my god. Swimmers versus a car, underwater car, yeah. <laughs> so I've never knew Bond drove the Back to the Future car. It does look more like a bloody DeLorean underwater than it does a Lotus. Actually, it's still a bit Lotus eat, yeah. Uh, so I'm just checking, Did Ra has Rainer replied? Uh, I don't like to uh, feel anyone feel like they're unhappy and need to leave the stream for whatever reason, but um, uh, I think, uh, never mind. Man I saw Manshivel replying there, tagging her, so I wonder if she popped back in the chat or something. Oh, no, okay. Oh, there, is she oh, there you are, Rainer. Sorry. I said the use of work. Every time people whine about work, it ends up being about people whining, about not lashing out and hurting people like me for existing. That's why I'm stopping. I, I didn't want any talk about it, and uh, I, think we've I think we've moved on from it, Rainer. Uh, and I think um, Jockstrad doesn't mean it in the way that a lot of other people use that word as well. I hate hearing that word. It just 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 makes my skin crawl because so many dickheads use it. Uh, but yeah, but I think we're over that now, Rainer. We have. I don't think it's been mentioned for a good like 10, 15 minutes. So and I've stopped it. You heard me saying no more. So yeah, I'm doing all I can here, Rainer. But yeah. Okay, Rainer, if, you don't, if you're not feeling it, no worries, no worries. Take care, Rainer. Okay. But we have uh, stopped talking about it now, and I think Jock Strad has said sorry to you as well. So I hope that's the end of it. Uh, but if you're not feeling it, no worries at all. So Retro and Lim gives us a 6 out of 10 so far. Bippy Stopper a 6. Mansion was 6.5. Robin Hook a 3. My God. Uh, 4 out of 10. The spy who hunted me slowly. <laughs> From Main Maze there. Jimmy a 6. Uh, and what's the OSG saying there? Once fell asleep in Grand Canary Airport. My mates dragged me into the walkway. People are stepping over me. I woke up with cold sores all over my face. God knows what was going. Jesus, OSG. <laughs> Sounds like a mad holiday. Awesome. Uh, six out of ten for Brian. It's definitely, it's definitely lacking a decent pace. I could play it a bit faster. But um, I just wanted to get through the game. Brian O'Higgins. Welcome, Brian. Good to see you, dude. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Late night appearance from Brian. Well, yeah, it's two, two Brians now. Um, right, 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 right. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, good night. Take care, Rainer. Oh, also, these games are really boring. Soon the license, you would have thought of James Bond games being some of the most action-filled popcorn movie tie-ins ever made. I thought License to Kill was good. Um, it had a mixture of action and different gameplay types. Um, actually, let's take a snapshot here just in case. Uh, but it was just too short and easy. But there was a nice bit of variety there. I thought... Um, I need the L here. Why is L repair your shield energy or damage? I don't know. Whoa! 
What the fuck? And, I, and the laser just wrecked it. Take a snappy there. Um, and I thought Live and Let Die was a decent game. Um, even though it didn't really start off as a bond license originally. And I thought a view to a kill had a, a varying gameplay. You got platform jumping, exploration, and puzzle solving. The city hall level was a bit dull to watch, I would admit. Oh, this might be the last level, guys. But fair play, fair enough. If you don't want my uh, my opinions on this game, oh, go for it, Anna, go for it. Is it getting is it getting an ass candle? I think L doesn't repair your damage on this level. So the symbols have changed. Oh, my, oh, 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 yeah. They start getting into a little bit more unique patterns. What does E do? I'm still not sure what E has done for me here. Apparently, I'm supposed to be shooting bullets si uh, diagonally as well. It only seems to happen... No! Oh, actually, I don't know what that R was for. R might have been laser. Oh, I'm getting wrecked here. I think I'm just better off avoiding. top of him? I can't go any further at the top of the screen. That's bullcrap. What the hell is this thing, anyway? <laughs> Got him! Uh, I'll take a stappy here. If I could get an energy restore, that's all we need. Come on, give me an energy restore. Anyway, signing off before I dose for the keyboard. Ba ba back's bad enough as it is. Happy for a quiet stream this weekend if able. Needing the free bit. No worries, Rayna. Oh, oh god, I'm going to get destroyed here. This is the final boss, I think. I think that was the final boss. God damn it. Oh, oh, oh. And it started you at the start of the level. Bad show, James. Rayna, take care. Have a lovely weekend if you can. Take it easy. Lots of love and positivity to you, okay? Take care, Rainer. Yes, it is, Jaim. This is normally your... No! This is normally your lurking time. I picked up the L again, but the L doesn't seem to do much. E, 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 E. E makes me fire diagonally, I think. I'm just going to just try... Uh, uh, ah! What I was saying there is just, I'm just going to try and sit there and avoid these. What does R do? <gasps> R is energy! Energy is R for... R for why, that, why has that changed? R was the laser on the last one, wasn't it? I can't, oh, I can't remember. That hitbox on me as well there. Ooh. Wrecked it quite quickly there, that's good. We're now going on to, I think, the boss this level. I think it's the boss. Because normally there's a Strongberg's Bakes, I think, uh, on the other versions. But I think it might finish here after this one. R was for Retro on Limb. <laughs> e for Extra Life. 
No, because uh, you got your lives there at the bottom. He restored energy. So R was for energy. Right, I have to remember that. Okay. It sure is R's candle, says Anna. No, R's candle betray of nostalgia edition with oak leaves and diamonds. <laughs> that gets three out of ten. It works, sadly. Mm. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm erring around about a six out of ten of this one. So I'm more um, forgiving of it. I still can't forgive it for being a full price bloody big release of Dumb Art. Have I actually got the box? I do. I bloody got this game. I forgot I had this one. Yep. Because I'm a... Because I'm a sad Bond fan, I had to go and get the box for it. So this is a big big box version of the game um, on disc, which is quite rare. It's quite a shabby version of, of the, the box is quite shabby now. Um, but yeah, there you go. I do own it. I think I paid more than I really ever wanted to for this game. There you have it. We have the Spy Who Loved Me on Amstrad Disc. Yeah. Uh, there's not much to show you, really. Um... You get the same picture on the back of the box, just with a load of, like, usual text. Ha 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 I've got to read this quote on the back of the box. At the bottom here. Actually. Let's get... Uh, actually, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll get... I'll get the... I'll see if I can find it on CPC Power. This is... No, that's funny. Spy who loved me. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You've got to, you've got to read this quote. You find it. Oh, actually, I've got a, I've got a pick up. Uh, I've got a picture of it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bear with me, just two secs. I don't think it's gonna be worth it after all this time now. Right, there you go. Right, I've got the box art here. We see this here. Don't miss out on the spy who loved me. A programming tour de force. Dumark. Right, Dumark. Okay. Tour de farts, more like. Anyway. It just made me giggle. Hang on, hang on, man. What's this there? Fast paced, the most exciting Bond thriller to. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Exhilarating chase sequences <laughs> at the mighty speed of a milk float <laughs> with a drained battery. And under the sea, and involving Q, specially modified load of soup to uh, armed to the teeth. Little white things that pop out like sperms. Uh, with one on one arcade style shootouts, which is completely missing in the game, in the 8 bit versions. Multi level action, well, just means there's more than one level. And top secret codes to crack. This isn't a view to a kill. This is the fastest paced and most exciting Bond thriller to date. A programming tour de force. This is if I was doing this on Twitch, uh, the chat would be full of Zyphail emotes, definitely. Tour de farce, yeah, yes. Oh, bless it. Tour de, sh yes. <laughs> so if they meant it in an ironic way, I think Domov would just literally, like, literally taking the. They're not hiding it anymore. They're just taking the piss. Basically. Oh, is that all oh, I said a rude word there? Oops, sorry. Anyway, am I? Fake marketing sue them. Not as bad as US Gold with their fake screenshots. Hey, OSG. That's a good video we're thinking of doing, eh? They could get proper done for using that royal stamp. What royal stamp was that? Hang on. Uh. Where's my image is gone? Oh, you mean this? This uh, royal stamp thingy? Is that illegal to use on stuff? Right. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, it could be. I don't know. Tour de Ars. Anna wins. Hey, Jimmy Taylor. Good night, Jimmy. Thank you, mate, for the lovely message there. Epic stream, mate. Love the James One thing tonight. You're top man. See you soon. Jimmy, you the top man. All the best to Janie as well. Have a great weekend, you pair. And uh, look forward to seeing you next week. And then at Blackpool. 
We love you, Jimmy. <laughs> Dumb Arkansas's dumbass. Yeah, the red thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who dances into the fire? Idiots. That's a good point. An important health and safety tip there from Retron Lim. Oh, yeah. Screenshots from the... I think it was the, it was the Amiga version. So this never got to the arcades, uh, Man Shovel. But um, it was on the Amiga, so it's the Amiga screenshots. Again, they're using their naughty boys and girls. Yes, the Queen needs to give permission. <laughs> As if the Queen would give permission to bloody dumb art bloody software. Right. I'll just start firing straight away. I don't think there's a boss here. Oh, ow! I got wrecked there. What the fuck? How am I supposed to... Ow! Am I supposed to? Oh, I did it! Save, save quickly, save quickly. That's, I've done it! And it's looped back to the first level. You don't even get a, a completion text screen. It just loads up level one. Well, what an anti-climax there. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, right, Roger, right. Well, there you go. That is the spy who loved me beating there. Let's have some GGs in the chat. Come on, let's, let's put some um, upbeat music on. I've had enough of the Bond music. Let's have... Where's Victory? I like that song. Well, that was the Spy Who Loved Me beaten there. And we have now beaten all the Bond games back to the back. A View to a Kill. Bosh. The Living Daylights. Bosh. Live, the Live and Let Die. Bosh. Sorry, Live and Let Die. Um, License to Kill. Bosh. And now the Spy... The Zai Who Loved Me. Bosh. G to the G. Oh, final scores. Anyone want to change their scores or add a score for the spy who loved me? I'll stick with a six out of ten. I'm murdering to us. It was a five and a half. But, um, Aaron says amazing game. Um, Aaron, I think you've been drinking too much again, Aaron. <laughs> the spy who looped me. Well, that was a bit of a disappointing end. Well, an anticlimactic end. I knew it would be anyway, but I don't think anyone cares now at like nearly two in the morning. So, uh, Bad show, James. Oh, you were referring to US Gold, were you, Man Shovel? Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, they may have used RK screenshots on some of their releases. I don't remember any, but they, they probably have done Man Shovel. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, Man Shovel. I thought you were talking about Dom Ark there. Um, well done now. Destroy all traces of this game. <laughs> Aaron gives it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Someone go and check on Aaron for me. Um, FC Denhog six and a half. Clanny! Hey, Clanny! Have you been lur dirty lurking again? How are you doing, Clansman? Welcome, my friend. Lovely to see ya. Seven out of ten from Clanny. Quite likes this one. Fair enough, fair enough. Bippy Stopper a six. Retron Lim, seven out of ten. I hate loops. Uh, I don't think it's as fun or as good as Spy Hunter. And that was 1985. And I'd struggle to score that more than a 7 out of 10. But uh, So there you go. So I think 6.5 for me is about fair. And I think most people go for around about the 6 mark. If we scroll back a bit. Um, sorry if I missed anyone's messages. Crap. Uh, yeah, most people around earlier on were about 6 out of 10 on average. So, but Spy Who Loved Me. But yeah. Hello, Clanny. Unfortunately, we're about to finish, really, Clanny. Uh, we've just we've just done all the Bond games. So, um, Mr. Pitwell cooking a burger. He didn't really miss much, Maud. He didn't miss much. We blew up a big tank of thing. And the game loops back to level one without a word to us. Anyway, 
One out of ten from OSG. What is this like on the Commodore 64 OSG? I always ask you stuff like that. I am genuinely interested though. Because if anyone would know, you would. And you would judge it fairly. I would hope anyway. Not only is it crap, it's recycled crap. A recycled arse candle. A tour de arse of programming. You miss Basil and Bond. We might be doing other... Uh, we'll just do the official Bond games tonight. That's the old wretch on limb. Ross Abbott. Right. Okay, guys. I think uh, I think we ought to probably call it there. Maybe. I don't know. How we, uh... Oh, yeah. Don't forget, guys. Give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream if you haven't already. Let's see what we're up to. It all helps get the video like noticed tomorrow as well. That does me a big favour. Got 65 likes so far. And we've had like nearly 80 people watching at points in the stream. So come on. A few more thumbs up and likes. I really, really appreciate it. Especially for all the uh, beating the games. There you go. 68 likes. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, well, anyone, uh, some of you here, uh, we are changing the game. We will be changing the game in the Ant Stream Challenge. I'll talk more about that in just a second, actually. Let me just pause the music there. The outro. So yeah, uh, those of you taking part in the Ant Stream Community Challenge will be set a game in place for next week. We're having to switch the game for Slice by if you can keep using continues to keep track and score up. So um, uh, we'll probably change I'll probably change it to like something like Rolling Thunder, something like that. But um, there you go. So thank you everyone for watching tonight. Oh, send to three likes. Thank you guys. Thank you very, very, very much. Appreciate that. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Um, I really enjoyed tonight because uh, I'm a bit of a sad Bond fan and uh, I've, had a, I've had a bit of fun with it tonight and um, yeah I love doing this uh, I've got some good uh, there, there are certain AM streams that I always look forward to doing coming up soon the Halloween AM stream I, I always love that we always have a bit of silliness on that and good laughs uh, we've got CPC Retro Dev coming up soon-ish as well excellent and then before you know it, it'll be bloody Christmas, won't it, boys and girls? Yeah. So I think this looks like there could be an after party today. So jump in my Discord if you're not in there already. And let's see if we can get an after party going because I don't know. The mood, I feel like the mood is there for people to stay up a bit later and have a chit chat. You, you've all been quite chatty at uh, nearly two in the morning. So um, go and jump in one of my voice chat channels or talk in the general chat, whatever you want to do, guys. Go and have a, go and have a good time in the lab. Shadow, welcome to the, uh, uh, the Discord there. I just see you popped in there. Thank you, Shadow. Um, so um, thank you, Paul Henderson. Cheers, I have been fun again. Cheers, I'll take all. Thank you, man. Thank you, Paul. Um, always pleasure to have folks. Good night. Thank you, Robin. Um, what's the new Ant Stream game? I think I'll probably do Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder. I will post tomorrow. Some people remind me and I'll post it in the Discord. It only means you've only got a few days to play it, but um, yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, um, so let me just have a message there. Good night, Jody. Thank you. I'm top of that challenge of any free continues. <laughs> Sorry, I was just. This one, you alerted me to that actually originally. I was having fun with Slice, but I know, I really want to do it. I contacted the devs, and they said they're not going to be able to fix it. But they said there might be a challenge they're setting up, where they can do like a one live challenge. If you looked on the tab, we could answer in those challenges and get the scores. But I just need to check that out, actually. I'll probably do that now very quickly. Uh, thank you, Dippy Stopper. Thank you, Aaron Phillips. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, I see Denhub trying to arrange the after party there. I've literally just got Ant Stream open. I think I've got the challenges. Death from above. Uh, oh. Right, and no, they haven't set it up there, so I'm going to have to uh, leave the uh, slide by this chain. But we'll probably feature it next week anyway on the uh, Arcade to Amstrad stream. On the next week's Amstream, I think that's what I'm going to do next week. I was okay, okay to like for a change life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, OSG. Thank you. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm trying to get a new video done for next week on the channel. We might stick to like Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. We'll see how it goes. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Just getting up no books tomorrow night. I will be live. I think I will be live streaming um, tomorrow uh, about half seven ish, maybe eight. For getting Mrs. Ibo to asleep because Mrs. Ibo's out of the theatre. So I'll be streaming before Novaborg and then you can all hop over to Novaborg. So I'll be on Twitch tomorrow evening if you want to join me there. Thank you everyone for tonight. I've had an absolute best. Thank you for all the um, bits and all that. Uh, sorry, all the donos and stuff. You guys are awesome. Thank you everyone. Take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care guys. Good night. Bye.